If you've been waiting your whole life for the ultimate asteroid mining simulator, then you're in luck. Delta V Rings of Saturn is here, and it's a game that understands the importance of science in science fiction. The physics-based mining sim drops you in a world where every action has a reaction. Precision spaceflight means a mistimed thruster burst could lead to major ship damage or your hold barfing up all your precious minerals. Will you unravel the mystery of the rings or just spend your time getting rich? Because while money can't buy you everything, it can buy a ton ton of cool things like fission reactors, experienced crew members, or pogs. Delta V Rings of Saturn may or may not contain 90s era schoolyard games. Please consult a doctor if you remember pogs, as you are old now. Delta V Rings of Saturn is available now, so head on over to its Steam page today. All right, hello everybody and welcome back to the editor's backlog. I don't I feel like I haven't done this stream for a month. Oh, rusty old Nick. Maybe a month and a half. Well, at least I remember I'm the editor-in-chief of Second Wind this time, joined by Marty Sleva. Hello. And today we are playing Last Epoch, and it's not sponsored. I'm just enjoying the game. You're oh, right. doggy. But we are sponsored by Delta V, which Jack likes, and you should check that game out. You know what? That was a real collaborative effort on that ad. <laughs> Let me tell you. That was, uh, I, I wrote the first draft. Jack did a little punch-up. Since he's very familiar with the game and loves the ad, and I believe I believe that was a Casey Wosu edit. Mm. There you go. Look at us. Look at us. A real Voltron of creating advertisements. The uh, I know you can't hear it, even though you're watching in Discord. But the menu music for Discord is like a mix of like Witcher and other things, and it's great. I oh can hell sit yeah! And listen to it all day. How come I can't hear it? Not, I'm not blaming on you. When I did, I'm just learning about this virtual camera. Let me tell you, Eric uh, taught me about this virtual I, camera thing. And then when I virtual camera, people can hear it. But how come I can't hear your virtual camera? Well, at least they were able to hear Goldeneye. Are, are you streaming it directly through Discord or are you using OBS to virtual camera? There's really no way I to know that. No, I'm using OBS to virtual <laughs> camera. Ah, well, I don't know. Too bad. Oh, I don't. I was fine. I'm. I'm assuming this has a soundtrack similar to. Uh, the 80s Dune, which was, the soundtrack was done by the band Toto, oh. who people might, might know from the song Africa. I Miss the Rains Down in Africa. Is that the only song they're known for? Uh, I believe they have a song called Hold the Line. Hold the line, love is an always on time. Love. I believe so. That could have been a Toto lie. Every once in a while I do a Toto I lie. Like... They have another song. Oh, Rosanna, Rosanna. is a great Toto song. I don't Rosanna, know that either. Roseanne. We'll have a stream. We'll have an, uh, a pure Toto stream one day where we play a bunch of Toto songs and then the channel gets demonetized and uh, we lose our homes, <laughs> which will be uh, a sad Toto stream. Mousecatcher says, happy birthday. Uh, not my birthday yet. March 27th is my birthday. Uh, happy birthday. What are you going to do for your birthday? Are you going to be back? Or are you going to be? Yeah, you'll be back. Oh, my God. Wednesday. Are we doing Are we doing a Firelink birthday chat? Or you can have Wednesday off if you don't want. If you have birthday plans, we don't have to do that. Uh, I can I can stream on my birthday. What else? Uh, am I pancakes. Do? I don't know. Going out. I don't know. That's true. Well, that's late at night though. Wait. I don't know. Maybe like no. Oh shit. I've been I've been trying to click and I realize my keybinds are not correct because I've been playing on the Steam Deck. Mm, you should be using uh, okay. controller. What if you use a controller? Imagine how much better it would be. Uh, also, thank you. Welcome everyone in Twitch. Welcome everyone in YouTube. It is so great to see you all. I feel like it's been so long since I last saw you. Uh, <laughs> Wal Walpole, welcome to sponsor free over in over in uh, YouTube. And Gelden with a two dollar dono. Where is this among Diablo Four and Path of Exile? So for folks who haven't played uh, Last Epoch, what's uh, where, where, where? What do we got going on here? Hold on. I need to I'm holding. I'm not doing anything. I need to change. We're doing some keybinding. You know what? People love the keybind. Folks come up to me in the streets, tears in their eyes, and they tell me, "Sir, we love, we love to change our keys in video games." Let me rebind to key one. You rebind whatever you want. It's your special day. Try. You can do what you can do any. Ow. You can do any. Uh, you can do any keybinds. Uh, Ian Rupar, uh, how is Marty's brain not mush from streaming so much lately? Uh, my secret is my brain is always mush. Yeah. And I feel like it's different. Having to like lead a stream is different than having to co-chair a stream. They're all like different muscles. Like this is a different muscle than what I just did. Uh, last stream, I was just focused on James Bond getting out of those precarious situations. Uh, and this stream, I'm just focused on. I'm focused on spending time with all of you in chat. That's what I'm here. I know what I need to do. 
We know what we need to do. Yes. We're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. Everything's gonna be fine. <clears throat> I have to remember my uh, keys here, but uh, w while I'm doing that, don't forget uh, we are currently running a Kickstarter for this Adventures Night, the card game, which you can go help on the Kickstarter right now. We're almost up to 60k. Oh my god. What happens if we get to 60k? Uh, I think they Beats unlock party. another drink card. Oh my god. Oh, drink card this economy uh yeah kickstart that it's uh it's 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 an excellent card game different tiers you can kickstart um stretch goals leading all the way up to 200k uh a great little social card game to play with you and up to a couple of your pals uh where you can you can enter the shoes of mortimer dabarella sigmar and grinderbin oh does grinderbin have a last name is it just grinderbin like madonna he does i can't remember I think it's Ohulahan, but I could be mistaken. Chat, sound off in the, in the, in the comments below if Grindapin has a last name. Drop the audio, it's very loud, and you don't want to hear people going, ah, 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 all the time. You know what? Speak for yourself. We're not king shaming here. Maybe people want to hear that. <laughs> well, I don't have a king for that, and I don't want to hear it. Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, but yeah, okay, so people are asking the difference between this and Diablo and Path of Exile. Uh, if Diablo is basically like the simplest version of a ARPG like this, and Path of yeah. Exile is the most complicated version of a ARPG like this, then this would fall somewhere in the middle of the two. There you go. A centrist. Uh, and then you obviously the big difference is the epochs. So each up here. Oh, let me make sure I'm not dying quick. <laughs> Something I would, I, you absolutely won't die. Oh, yeah, Jarmy! Um, okay, so the big difference in this game is the epoch system. So basically, mm -hmm. there's almost, there's five different eras you can go to. So one is in the ancient era, and it like changes the whole map of how it looks. Okay. So this is the ancient era. So like you find like kind of like dinosaur-looking creatures and oh yeah primitive stuff. Then you go to the divine era, and this is more like there's like a big war going on here, imperial area, which I haven't been to just yet. Yeah. This is like Chrono Trigger. That's great. Then the Ruined Era, which is the world has been destroyed. My God, this is exactly like Chrono Trigger. This the is end awesome. Time is like the end game. Stuff. That's fucking literally Chrono Trigger. <laughs> great. So I'm sold would, on this. So you would love this game then. Literally, the there is the the last thing on the timeline is called the end of time in Chrono Trigger, Ooh. and it's just a single room hanging out in space. Uh, Shout out to Chrono Trigger. And I have played. I have like dabbled in Path of Exile. I haven't. I haven't played a ton of it just because like I do find it a little bit too complicated even though I really like it mm -hmm. um, and I, I am like extremely looking forward to Path of Exile 2. That's the PoE that Amy likes. Yes. Uh, but this this one is like I, I don't know it's, it's just kind of hit that itch for an ARPG that's like not too complicated and I don't have to do, I don't have to spend a ton of time in menus and maxing stuff to like enjoy it. Mm -hmm. This game's also uh, it's it's really blown up on Steam. It's it's huge. Yeah. This is this is like uh, I feel like it's flown a little bit under the radar just because it came out I think around the same time as like a Pal World and like Pal World and Hell Divers and stuff like that's been getting all the conversation. But this has just steadily had like a shit ton of players since it's released. Yeah, uh, yeah a lot of the Diablo players are basically like this is what we wanted from Diablo. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. I don't know what any of that means, but you know what? <laughs> I like the both, so there you go. Although I know, I know, like the heavy Diablo players like have not been happy with the season so far. Oh, uh, they don't like the seasoning. And this one is, uh, don't believe this one is a live service title at all. Gotcha. Uh, Guglop says, "Did Diablo start the whole blue flask, red flask visual thing that this game in Poe uses in Diablo?" Uh, that's the first game I remember it in. So we're going to say yeah. Because there's no way something happened before my memory. Correct. Which is just very bad. That's the, only, extremely that's bad. the only correct way. Mm. Because you said I heard the servers crashed on launch and a few people were kind of upset about that. I mean, uh, that's, Well, yeah, they were not expecting 200,000 people <laughs> day one. Yeah, I mean, the servers crashed. You couldn't even get into to Helldivers at launch. Uh, 
Uh, Lady Luminous, with a great question. Uh, was it Red Dragon uh, that approached us, or did we approach Red Dragon? How did... Um, I don't actually even know the answer to that. How did uh, how did that sort of partnership yes, form? Yes, they emailed me uh, when we went independent. And mm, basically gotcha. wanted to see how we could work together. And yeah. they were like, what if we made a card game with you? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It started. It started <laughs> off. We did some 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 sponsorships and some ads for uh, uh, Red Dragon Inn and Tales uh, from the Red Dragon Inn, uh, and then it evolved into a closer partnership, partnering on uh, the Adventures Night card game, which is very exciting. Yeah, that uh, when that card game's done, it'll like literally be sold in stores. That they can go buy oh it at a store. God. Oh my god, that's gonna be that's gonna be crazy. Yeah. I see that mushroom man in the store? That'd be wild. Like, that was great. Respawn? What happened here? Okay, there's no way to know. No one no one possibly knows. Stand down or die. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Diablo started the whole I mean it's just health and mana, which I feel like most games use blue for mana and red for health. But I think I mean, Diablo is like, well, especially these orbs. Like, these orbs are like Diablo orbs. Uh, yeah, Diablo has yeah. the two orbs that I that mean, the fill, UI um, is literally the exact same as Diablo. Why is that, listen, there's but no need to reinvent the wheel. Yeah. Like, someone did it well, just, just fucking yeah. keep doing it. Oh, I agree with that. Yeah. People will be like, I don't know where anything is. And if you just make it like Diablo, it's like, oh, you know where everything is. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I've been having a really good time with this. Like, definitely good uh, turn your brain game off to play on Steam Deck, and it's uh, only problem is it doesn't run perfect on Steam Deck yet. Oh, yeah, I've noticed uh, Steam Deck. I do not use uh, any any modern non indie game, like indie like looking game. Um, I don't I don't need my Steam Deck like. Warren and Purin and, and like often although like Frost and I was Frost got a Steam Deck and we were both saying how do you every once in a while do you turn your Steam Deck towards you and kind of like huff the exhaust uh no I don't actually okay you should you should try I, it's I, exciting it's I, like I've the spice otherwise no it's like getting it's like the spice <laughs> um I don't think so what I leave <laughs> it's great it's great you gotta you gotta indulge in the spice uh, George Lucas wants to know you riding that oh, Bellatro train. Oh yeah, everybody is. Who isn't riding that train? There are some comments on Cross Skull Take like, I don't get the appeal of this. It's like you just need to play oh, it, <laughs> and then you'll get it. <laughs> uh, I haven't. I literally have not played it yet. Wow. There's too many other games. There's too many other games. What is that? Uh, games. I had to finish. I did like a hundred fucking hours of Final Fantasy. I'm about to wrap up Persona Three. I'm very close. I'm in January. Uh, and then uh, I'm, I'm fucking Unicorn Overlording. You guys got the Bellatro over there. I don't need... To, you guys got the Bellatro uh, market cornered. I'm the only one here in Unicorn Overlord Alley. Casey's going to be in Unicorn Overlord Alley when he gets back, though. We're going we're gonna to be called Casey? Unicorn Bros. Yeah, Casey's going to be a Unicorn Overlord. Does he, does he even He loves unicorns. Games? Yeah, he played Fire Emblem. No. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, yeah, Probably he maybe. played. Yeah, he liked Fire Emblem, but he liked the houses. I think because of the character stuff. I'm not sure. So sure about that. Unicorn Overlord's got a lot of characters. Oh my god, are you talking? Kidding me? Unicorn Overlord's all, all character stuff. I don't stuff. know anything about this game. Oh no. my god, I, I have met so many wives. I went were from starting to coming up. People were going crazy over it. I'm like, oh, this looks like another from... RPG I'll buy on the Switch that I will leave in the package for a year. It's great on Switch, <laughs> let me tell you. This is, uh, I would say Switch or PC, but Vanillaware refuses to put their games on PC. Atlas was even like, can we please put it on PC? This is a, <laughs> like, a tactics game. This would be really good on PC. And they were like, no. Um, but it runs great on Switch, and it's a great, because it's uh, you, you play little chunks, uh, but it is great. I've met so many characters. I have so, ma I have so many people in my party. I'm starting to get creatures in my party. Cool, like, angel ladies and cool little fucking swamp crones. It's great. Mm -hmm. I love them all. Uh, well, I finished Diablo 3 the day before I went to Washington, D.C. Diablo 3? I mean, but Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, uh, like, and, and then I finished uh, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink last night. Well, finished it. There's like a huge endgame, but I don't really have much interest in continuing to play it. Oh, I didn't even realize you were playing Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. That's the, that's the action RPG one, right? Yeah. What'd you think? 
I had no clue what was going on in the story because it's like, I think the game expected that I have watched anime, and I have not watched anime. <laughs> so. Oh, the anime. I thought you yeah, said yeah. the game expected I've watched anime. Like, you've watched some anime. <laughs> yeah, well. Just <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, I mean, that's what, uh, like, you know, Casey was, like, doing his homework by watching all the, watching all the anime. Yeah, that's, like, uh, yeah, they, like an story... interesting. Oh, well, the story, like, starts you off in, like, the middle of something that's happening. It's gotcha. really bad. Like, I have no idea who any of these people were. The game wanted me to, like, care about them, and I'm like, I don't. I don't know jack shit. Like basically, the yeah. girl with the blue hair on the cover gets stolen, and you're supposed to give a shit why. And I'm like, I, I just want to see the pretty environments. That's all I really care yeah. about. <laughs> you know what? You need to save the girl. She got stolen. Uh, she got stolen like an item much. from a store. It's pretty much. Uh, okay, so not super hot in grand blue. The the, yeah, the okay. combat in the world is gorgeous, but yeah, like I mean, mm -hmm. I finished the campaign like six hours. Gotcha. And uh, it's actually, from what I was, like, when I was finishing it the other night, because I was, uh, I was playing it in DC on the Steam Deck, which actually runs pretty great on there, uh, I was like, wait a second, this game, this feels like I'm almost halfway done with the game. And then I looked up the chapters, and there's only nine chapters in the game, and it turns out, like, the game is really more of a Monster Hunter game than it is... Oh, that's all about, like, the end game, kind of, like... Yeah. The story is kind of just the afterthought, which I had no idea going in. You think Joe Biden has a Steam Deck? I'm sure he does. I've been I, playing I, this block for lately. Deck. You sold your Steam Deck? Yeah, I sold it to Jesse Schwab because I ordered a Lenovo Legion Go. Oh, well, there you go. What's the deal with the little Lenovo Legion Go? So it's a Windows handheld gaming uh platform and it's much more powerful than the steam deck and i got tired of like especially for like if i didn't wasn't in games media and like needed to install games on different launchers all the damn time i would have stuck with the steam deck but uh with windows like i can install my other launchers and not deal with all kinds of bullshit how many launchers are you dealing with i mean there's battle net for Call of Duty and Diablo. There's you, you play these, for. You playing these games on Steam De on on the go. I, I, I wanted to play Destiny. You tried stuff to. On the well, go. you weren't playing them on the <laughs> yeah. go beforehand because you could. Well, I'm like, so here's here's a weird thing. I don't like playing shooters on the PlayStation Five uh, because the the joysticks are not offset like they are on Xbox, uh -huh. and so the Steam Deck joysticks are not offset. They're just parallel to one another. And so oh. the, the Lenovo Legion Go or the ROG Ally have offset Steam or offset joysticks. It's funny. There's a lot of people who, who feel very passionate about that, and I literally do not think about it on any device I have. But like, you, don't, I couldn't you, don't, you. you don't play like hardcore like Twitch shooters or anything where it can't make a difference. I'm, I'm playing I'm playing Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes right now, and I got stuck at a tank, and he's very hard. So uh, maybe maybe my maybe my my nubs uh, are in the wrong place. Die. Maybe I'd be able to shoot him if I didn't have nubs. Uh, Lampy with 100 bits over in Twitch. Thank you, Lampy. Marty, did you show Darren your cranker after the stream? And my hog? <laughs> what do you mean, my cranker? What oh, my... My, my shit. My... Ow, what's my, What the my fuck? My play date? Did no, you just I didn't see show... that? <laughs> yeah, you got killed by a bunch of like, I rats. I just spawned. <laughs> well, you gotta, you gotta get look to both ways before spawning. Uh, no, I did not show Darren my cranker after the steam after the stream. I said it was great hanging out with you guys. I'll be in touch when we organize the next one of these, and then we left our calls. That's what happened at the end of the stream. Although I am I am dusting off my cranker because Lucas Pope's got his new game coming out uh, on on exclusive to Cranker. I think maybe later this week. So I might be might be cranking all day and all night. And by that I mean I'll probably play it for like ten minutes and then stop cranking. I don't know if you know, but Blue Mountain Dew seems to be out everywhere right now, and it's driving me crazy. Yeah, I was. Uh, it, I'm really emotional about it I, as well. I know. I, I could tell. I saw when I pulled out the Green Mountain Dew. You're like, that hurts me. Yeah. <laughs> um, blue uh, is the Blue Mountain Dew like the blue like the blue juice that uh, Timmy Chalamet has to drink in Dune Two. You haven't seen Dune yeah. 2 yet, right? No, I have not. We were supposed to go see it because Jack was like, we're going to go see this while we're in D.C. 
And then I'm like, hey, Jack, you want to go see Dune? Nah. I'm too tired. Jack, you want to go see Dune? Nah, he I got was, other things to do. Was, he was creating entire worlds. Hey, Jack, you want to go see Dune? Nah, I got to create adventures and I assets. I mean, that sounds like he was doing his work. It sounds like you were trying to skip out on work to get the Shy Halud up in you. Yes. Which shout out, shout out to the Shy Halud. Big, big fan of the Shy Halud. Uh, and Miss Harmony, that's a great point. Uh, Zelda Two: Adventures of Link used red and blue flasks in 1987. Oh, Fucking Diablo, Diablo stealing from yeah. Zelda Two, the worst Zelda game. Uh, SVS Guru with a five euro dono. Thank you, SVS Guru. Since the availability of save games affect risk taking and tactics. Would you say that save games is part of the gameplay? Sorry. The bail okay, I think this is a... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, SVS Guru. I've been uh, I've been rallying against certain games that have a limited number of save files. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake uh, and Rebirth only have like 10 to 12 save files, whereas Unicorn Overload has 100, which is great. Uh, certain games only have one save file, which is that's not enough save files. Uh, I would say like save files and and save games and that kind of thing, being able to save scum. I would say that affects gameplay, but that is a case by case basis because that is something that you are directly um, you are directly choosing to do. If you don't want to save scum, if you want to live with your actions, you can just do that. If you don't have the if you don't have the self control or the will. To avoid turning back the clock, then um, <laughs> then that's also on you. I think either way is fine. Yeah, some people just play tactic games for the story, believe it or not. Yeah, that's why I like a tactics game that you can crank down to easy. You can corner overload. I've been playing on a nice, healthy, normal. But you can go down if I've, if something's giving you trouble, you can just go down to fucking story mode, get your way through it. Beautiful. I don't like being locked into one difficulty. I like being able to sort of regulate as I go. That's always nice. Did you see that, uh, speaking of difficult stuff, did you see that Dark Souls mod I shared on my Twitter today? I did not know. So somebody, somebody's making like a complete, uh, conversion mod for Dark Souls 3 and it kind of looks incredible. Do you know what it's called? Archstone or something? Ah, uh, the arch. It's I, I, not. I it's not Demon Souls. And, and, and yeah, uh, well, it's basically it's. It's funny you say that because it's like basically built like Demon Souls, but in Dark Souls Three. Like with the arch stones that you go to. Yeah. Uh oh, they have a Patreon. They're probably gonna get shut down. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what are you doing? You can't do that. Yeah, I don't. That's a. That's gonna be an interesting conversation after this whole Nintendo thing is like. Can you really get tipped for? Can you really say you're not getting paid for work if you're running a Patreon that directly supports you being able to work on that work? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm putting a little link to this trailer for the for the Archstone thing. Um, this looks pretty cool. I will say, I, I give it I give it the Marty seal of pretty cool. It's getting a getting a demo March 21st. I think they said. A demonstrate first day of spring demonstration. Mm. I, I don't I wish spring don't. would go away. My allergies are already bothering me. My allergies started flaring up last night. Yeah, my I got windows open. The fucking pollen's coming. Oh no! Yeah, I like woke up this morning and my eyes were crusted over. I was like, wait a second, it's not even fucking That's April yet. What's happening? You miss DC. You just you just miss being that close to Kamala Harris. <laughs> I bet Kamala Harris has got a steam deck. What's your, what's your fascination with people having Steam Decks? I don't know. You were in D.C. You said you had your, your Steam Deck in D.C. And I was just thinking about who, who uh, what other famous people in, in D.C. had their Steam Deck. Bradley <laughs> Beal, the Washington Wizard. He might have a Steam No, he's not even a wizard anymore. He's on the Phoenix Suns. Uh, Jordan Poole. I bet Jordan Poole has a Steam Deck. Uh, Lampy with a hundred bits over in Twitch. Thank you so much, Lampy. Uh, if Final Fantasy VII Rebirth had a hundred save slots, you would have 40 gigs of just save data if you used them all. Shay said that. I feel like, without doing any research of my own, I feel like that's a lie. I, I don't think save files take up that much data. Without any research of my own. I don't think these save files take up as much data as as big developer is telling us. I think oh. save files are pretty small. I think they're all like under a hundred killies, and I think we should we have a right to have as many save files as we want. That's the platform I'm running on uh, in in 2025. Game devs are watching. You should probably make this one clear. That's what I need to click. Cause I've been clicking three the entire time, thinking why are my health potions gone? 
because there's a big also if game devs are watching uh, uh make the save file smaller in size hold on yeah it's a very simple solution to do that you just right click save as smaller file yes stop save it stop using your flak save files and just go down to a jpeg save file use these pi Uh, Lampy with another 100 bits. Every time you delete a save file, you destroy 100 Keelys. Why is that in quotes? Who said that? Did I say that? Did someone say that? Keelys? Yeah, that's what. We, <laughs> that's how we measure we measure lives in Keelys now. Keelygrams. Uh, Quintuple A. Hey, it's fun <laughs> trying to see who sent that message, and I was just going, uh, and it turned out it was ah. Uh, so that, that worked out well. Yeah. No, no, thank you so much, Quintuple. Marty's top five Steam Deck owners uh, in the Washington metropolitan area. Um, uh, no, top five Steam Deck owners. Uh, who who has a Steam Deck? Oh, who I saw? Uh, Mitch McConnell like finally retires. Go play a Steam Deck all day. Yeah, yeah. He's got a lot of he's got a lot of games. The Custer's Last Stand. He's really excited. <laughs> um, oh, I thought he was who, just really I excited saw, to go play that Alex Jones game. Uh, oh God. Did you know that? I a saw thing? someone. I did. Yeah, sadly, <laughs> sadly, I didn't know that was a thing. I saw like not a red carpet photo, but like a celebrity photo of like someone famous at like an airport, and they had a little Steam Deck thing. It was probably an athlete. I bet a lot of athletes, a lot of athletes have one. I bet me, I bet Brie Larson might. I know Brie Larson's a huge Nintendo person, but Brie Larson might have a Steam Deck. Top 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 five people in the MCU who might have Steam Decks. <laughs> Oh, I bet John Carpenter has one. Well, you would think John Carpenter has one, but I also don't think he leaves his house, so I don't know if he needs to see that. Although he probably likes getting high. He's working, on that, high and, like, he's working on that new game. Yeah, he's still not leaving his house, though. <laughs> probably. I bet he doesn't need to leave a house. Uh, Lampy, 100 bits. Do you think Zelda Williams has a Steam Deck? Yeah, I think Zelda Williams has a Steam Deck. Absolutely. <laughs> um, Gabe Newell's probably a famous person with a Steam Deck. Probably. What, no, I don't know if no, Gabe Newell how famous. He's probably got a little Nova Legion go. Oh, wow. That's why I'm picking him up. Wow. I knew Gabe had it. What a traitor. <laughs> uh, somebody brought up that No Rest for the Wicked game, that new game from the Orgy Devs. That, yeah. that jumped up to like my most anticipated game of the year immediately. <laughs> it looks yeah. so good. Yes, I'm so I'm, excited uh, for that game. I'm very excited for it. I like that uh, a couple a couple indie games I've been looking forward to got um, got dated earlier today. Uh, April 9th, uh, Children of the Sun and Yellow Taxi Go Vroom, both coming out April 9th. Right, Children of the Sun was uh, my favorite game from. Uh, game. Uh, no, this one's not Crazy Taxi. This is like a 3D character platformer where you play as like a little toy car. Oh. Um, Really great demo. Uh, Frost put me on that one, and then Children of the Sun is that awesome, uh, yeah. kind of like sniper puzzle game uh, that had the Steam Fest or Next Fest demo recently. And then Europa's coming the week after. Some good indies in April. I like that April seems to be relatively chill when it comes to AAA games, but we're getting we're getting some good smaller games. That's nice. I appreciate that. Uh, Terrace Kasi, thank you so much for 100 bits over in Twitch. I'd like to tell you about a certain Shinji Mikami game that got trash reception on release. It's called God Hand, and it's one of the most fun gaming experiences I've had in a long time. <laughs> God Hand stream when, I'm sure Casey would love it. Uh, I mean, God Hand is a... Uh, God Hand is one of those games that I think is wonderful, but I also think it is... It's one of those things where it's like, depending on if I squint, that game is a, a, is a nine or that game is a four. <laughs> it's kind of like The Last Guardian in that respect, where it's like, depending on the light of day, it is either a, a mess or a masterpiece. Uh, God Hand's a lot of fun, though. I don't know I don't know Casey's temperature in stealing games, so I'm not going to force Casey to play a game like if he's a, in stealing games. God Hand or God Eater? Or is that the same thing? Yeah. Those are different games. Okay. God Eater is. God uh, Eater I've is not like played God Eater, but I think like. I believe it's like a yeah Japanese monster hunter. Like God Hand is a Shinji Mikami uh, character action game, kind of Western tinge, to where you build your own combos. Hmm.
Bye bye. Oh, they just sacrificed themselves to become a monster. That I now have to kill, probably. Yep. <laughs> I don't know why I just gave them that if they were just gonna try to kill me, but sure. <laughs> there you go. Uh, CSI Freaks with 200 bits. Thank you so much, CSI Freaks. You're freak. getting out, out YouTube today. Yeah, listen, Twitch, Twitch came to play. YouTube's been fucking. I mean, YouTube did uh, donate quite a bit during um, during the last stream, so I get it. Maybe maybe the people are poor now. Goldeneye makes the people poor. Uh, CSI freak, thank you so much. Any chance there could be pop vinyls of the Second Wind Crew and Adventures Nye characters in the future? What's a pop vinyl? Is that like a Funko Pop? Do you know what a pop vinyl is? No. Nope. I don't think it's a Funko Pop, though. How did I get this? It is absolutely a Funko it? Pop. It's a Funko Pop! It's Funko Pop, I think. I don't know. I typed in Pop... Uh, I typed in Pop Vinyl, and uh, Funko Pops appeared. Can you just, like, ask to have a Funko Pop made of you? That feels like you can't do that. Pretty sure you can. No. Yes. You can't just... Who do you, like, you call up, like, John C. Funko? You're like, excuse me, sir, I would like a Funko Pop made of my mushroom friend, Grinderbin. I don't know if you could do that. Adventures Nye Amiibos when? That's a great question. I'll I'll call my Amiibo contact. Ooh, I got a new Amiibo yesterday. No, no. Why do you get this done? It's just Donkey Kong. It's nothing nothing too scary. It's just it's just Donkey Kong. He's doing great, by the way. <laughs> you didn't ask, but um, yeah, Donkey Kong's doing great. I also bought a lot more Dreamcast games. I found a seller on eBay, and I kind of I, I sweet talked him, and I got a deal. I got nine games coming now. I have a I've I've all of a sudden I have a very large nine. nine. All of a sudden I have like a thirty game Dreamcast collection. I don't know what happened. It's when I get sad. I feel like every year I get sad at a couple points, and then I spend money on dumb things. Oh, you were sad. That, we were all gone. Amiibo, that was a me boat. Yeah, that was. I was sad. Everyone was gone. I was like, oh no, I don't get to stream with them. I'm gonna buy my Dreamcast. Um, my Dreamcast games I bought are <laughs> Sonic Shuffle is not a part of the Nine Lampy. I did get Sonic Shuffle recently though, which is very exciting. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know which ones I bought. Where, oh, where? If I put eBay on my phone, where was it? Uh, I bought. Uh, I got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, Centipede, South Park Chef's Love Shack, uh, what? Three what Arena. Fighting for, uh, Chef's Love Shack is a, uh, it's like a tr South Park, uh, like a Jeopardy game. Yeah, uh, Fighting Force Shack. 2, Chef's Love Shack, L-U-V. Yeah, it's where, like, because Chef was, like, he was all horned up. He, uh, he, like, he boned down on people. It was pretty great. Fighting Force 2, Tennis 2K2, uh, Time Stalkers, uh, Super Magnet Neo, and Machin X, which is an Atlas game. It's got some SMT vibes to it. Hmm. Um, so there you go. Look at us. What a time to be alive. See, friend, the strategy works for me too. Get sad, make big dumb spend. It's great. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, it happens all for it too. Sometimes you just need a little impulse it happened, to feel good it about happened. yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's great. Uh, but yeah, yeah. I've I've developed. I've I've gained quite a uh, quite a quite a little collection now. I already own Powder. I, I own Power Stone. I own Power Stone Two. I got uh, what I what did I just get recently? Um, oh, 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 reach, reach from. I need to level up. Are you still thinking about what you got? Did you crash? You ran away. I didn't realize you left. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. No, I've been getting mega. I realize I bought a lot of used games lately. <laughs> uh, I bought Lost on PS3, the Lost game. I bought Enchanted Arms, a From Software uh, mm. RPG for the PS3. That was uh, just. I think you can still get that on backwards compatibility for the Xbox. It was up until like a oh, year yeah, ago. They just took it down. from the store. Yeah. That's right. Why did they do that? Fuck yeah, I don't know. Maybe they're releasing like an HD version, like an idiot. No, they they wouldn't be the idiot. I would I would be the idiot. Um, <laughs> I I, I, I have been like tempted to rebuy a PS3. It was a good decision. But I feel like I as soon as, as I, I feel like as soon as I do it, they're gonna remaster the games I want. 
well then you should in the same way that I replayed uh, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess on uh, Wii U in hopes of that triggering them releasing it on Switch, you should yeah. do that for the good of everyone else. Okay. Then I'll rebuy a 360 to uh, Will Viva Pinata back into the world. <laughs> you can play that on, on uh, Series X. And I want a new one. Uh, okay, so this is. I just went through that rift, and now, mm -hmm. now I'm in ancient times. And little dino, dinos to kill. And that looks the art style changes. Well, the, yeah, I guess the art style changes quite a bit. <laughs> Yeah, I like it. For Recently, some reason, really, though, these dinosaurs are carrying around like ambulance and armor and stuff. I don't, I don't know why, but they do. <laughs> uh, a lot of a lot of creatures have little have little just, ambulance with just, them. Yeah, you know, just stashes of people's shit. <laughs> yeah, tucked, tucked away in their kangaroo pouches. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Lampy with a hundred bits. Thank you so much, Lampy. Did you buy the four hundred dollar device that lets you stream old consoles? Uh, no, I bought a cheap device that will let me stream and play Dreamcast. However, now that I've also bought some PS2, some GameCube, and some uh, some original Xbox games, I feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I might need to invest in that retro tink. That's uh, well, that's why part of the reason I went with the. Uh... Watch my call it the Lenovo Legion Go because emulation on the Steam Deck is good, but for anything that's not like old, it doesn't run great. And this new uh, Lenovo Legion Go is way more powerful than the Steam Deck. It's literally like yeah. a handheld gaming PC and not a, you know a handheld gaming console. The uh, yeah, I haven't uh, my my emulation stops at the the PS2. GameCube era, um, which stuff has run fine. I haven't come run into any problems there, but I'm assuming if you would jump into 360 PS3 kind of stuff, that's when that's when Steam Decks aren't able to aren't able to cut it, probably. Yeah. Uh, THC Syndicate, thank you so much for the Prime sub over on Twitch. Appreciate it. Uh, Thrash Gordon. Any more hell divers too? I'm sure you guys will help. Thursday, I'm sure we'll play more. Yeah, we gotta play it on Thursday because there's yeah. new. We gotta go find those mechs. Gotta find the mechs. And I believe Frost is working on a cold take on hell divers, so don't you worry. We got plenty, plenty of heck diving left in us. Uh, Josh Knowles with a five dollar dono over on YouTube. Thank you, Josh. Will seasons one and two of Adventures and I be re-released one episode at a time, like season three, or all at once? Uh, one release? episode at a time, because if we release them all at once, they will just be overlooked, and uh, they won't get the viewership. Basically, we gotta we gotta treat it like we have a whole new audience that is here to watch Adventures and I now. Mm -hmm. There you go. And if we release it all at once, that'd be like. Between that, the side quest, season two, like thirty episodes, and people will be like, "Why are you spamming my feed with good content?" And then Get I, a and second then wind. To, How could you? Then I'll have to yell at them, and then they'll yell at me, and then they'll I yell feel at like me for yelling at them. Yeah, that, the <laughs> the problem the pro that is absolutely what would happen. The problem <laughs> is you saying I have to yell at them. You don't have to yell. You're choosing to yell at them. At that point, at that point, you're hoisted by your own petard, uh, miss. Harmony. So do what I got. Highlighted. Do. I appreciate it. Game respect game. Uh, you bought Via Damus. Congrats, Marty. Horrible game, but has some very specific and amazing lost lore there. And I saw Fran say the same thing. Yeah, I uh, I, I jammed through it. Um, I believe it came up between seasons two and three, which was like the height of Lost Mania. It felt like um, it was great. Much like Enter the Matrix, some some had had some uh, narrative clocking that uh, helped understand the things that came beforehand and afterwards shout out to enter the matrix uh lampy with 100 bits uh spoiler alert everyone has the mech right now as a reward you don't need to find it well you were gonna need to find it in our stores spoilers. Or like menus maybe i can't believe you spoiled this how could you just have been watching you were gonna be our Lieb and you, you did that to us i couldn't believe <laughs> it uh, TSP with a five dollar dono. Thank you so much, TSP. Nick, did you have time to do any sightseeing or other fun stuff in DC, or were you working the whole time? Um, I uh, the team did. I didn't go. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I wasn't feeling great the first three days because I needed oh. to get my uh, 
prescription for my anti-anxiety medicine for I left and they didn't call me and then they were like oh yeah you need to come in for an appointment before we refill it and I was like you didn't think to tell me that like I don't know three days ago when I originally yeah, asked for an appointment had time. yeah yeah <laughs> and then uh yeah so like I basically had to like go through a withdrawal for like the first three days while I was there and I just wasn't feeling up to it and that fucking sucks yeah I'm sorry to hear that so that wasn't fun uh, it sounds like the team today they sent pictures they went somewhere today yeah, the Washington went, Monument yeah, they went to the Washington, yeah they've been there a couple of times now. like we were we weren't far from any of that stuff uh, they've been there a couple of times like they keep going back to the Washington Monument <laughs> well like where we're where we're filming is it, it's pretty close to all that stuff so I don't yeah I don't know if they went to the Washington Monument the first day they went down because they've been to like they went to a few museums now uh, gotcha and like even if I wasn't feeling great, like I'm not a huge museum guy. Yeah, I just I don't know. <laughs> it's like, I've been uh, you know don't get I get the appeal of it. I just like kind of like the thing. No, like, listen, oh, cool. I love museums, but I'm a big fan of the of the fuck museums take. I think, <laughs> I think that's a great take because that sounds like a take I would have. So I appreciate yeah. that take. Yeah, I like the White House, like. I've seen it a million times in TV shows and movies and TV. And I'm like, eh, do I really want to go stand there? Not really. <laughs> I don't know. I like if I I like I love traveling, but I just like actually going to do things and like being in the culture or something like that, and not looking at dead stuff. things. <laughs> I mean, a lot of culture is looking at that. Thing. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. I mean, if I went to like France and I got to go down in the, the Catacombs. And, and Maz, yeah, the catacombs would be all about that, even though the, I've watched enough movies down there to know I'm going to die while I'm down there. Uh, as someone who went to the catacombs, I did not die. Can confirm, you can go down there and not die. I don't know if I believe you. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> it was a press trip for Assassin's Creed Unity. Of course they took you down there. <laughs> Lou de awesome. France did sightseeing, uh, uh, went, uh, went to... Uh, Notre Dame, went to some museums, went to the catacombs, went to the Eiffel Tower. Uh, and then a few days later, they brought us to, to uh, like a, a hall for the game. And it was uh, a hands-off presentation. And I remember being like, on one hand, it was real cool to be able to go to France yeah. on someone else's time. On the other hand, I cannot fucking believe that you I came all the way to France to watch a video presentation. <laughs> Oh, like, yeah. what are we doing? Yeah. Like, what? This is insane. Like, what? Did like, I tell you beforehand it wasn't going to be a hands on yeah. presentation? No, I think it was just sort of assumed because it wasn't that far before the game. Oh, no. Um, so, real, real silly. Uh, shout out to Unity, though. Shout out to Arno. Nuts. Yeah. I think I've had Counterpoint. that. I think a lot I've of had great that ones before. A lot of great croissants. I, I yeah like I even even if we were still like in the pr traditional press docket I'm like I'm still like iffy on going to preview events because I'm like am I really gonna fly there to play a game for three hours and I'm gonna play in like a week? <laughs> I thought they were great. I liked I liked them at the time. I have no desire to do them anymore. That being said, if someone wants to fly me to Japan for something, <laughs> I'll say your game is great. The, well, listen, yeah, Japan, right. no questions. Going, going like somewhere I will not even, is one thing. Going to like I will not San even, Francisco uh, to play again. Oh god, that one shot. Unseen, I will say your game is great. If you take me to Japan, Mouse Catcher says shout out to you. Yes, Glimat for this quadruple A games. All right, maybe I do need to do that stupid video on what the hell a triple A or quadruple A game is. I'm just all about lowercase A games. Yes, and I did talk about that video. He helped me uh, figure out a, a direction to take it in that would <laughs> appeal. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. After I get this uh, get me the fuck out of menus video done. Get me the fuck out of menus. That's literally what the title's going to be. Get me the F out of menus. <laughs> I don't know if YouTube will demonetize it or not, but I don't care. <laughs> yeah, they're probably, they're probably going to demonetize us. But you know what? That just that's just more fuel for that. You got to support us in other other venues, other avenues. Uh, Terrace Kasi, thank you so much. Highlighted message. Uh, tell me, how are those stalker games on console? I don't think either of us have played them. I have not played them yet. I do want to though. I haven't played the stalker games at all. Actually, Ever. no, I don't want to. I'd rather really play that on PC. <laughs> I like. 
Wow, personal computer Actually, boy. In fact, I don't want to play that at all. I just want to play Dragon's Dogma 2 when it comes out. Those are very different games. <laughs> Close enough. Uh, ba 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 ba. Lampy, 100 bits. Thank you so much, Lampy. Starting a fun for a second win podcast from Japan on Weeb Shit with Marty and Casey. Nick, I don't know if we can section off individual donations, but that is $1. That is $1? currently in the jar. One dollar is in the Marty and Casey go to Japan jar. So, okay, so if you guys raise a dollar for like two thousand days, you can go. Easy, easy. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Check it in a couple of years. Uh, I'm very close to pulling a trigger on my fall trip to um, to Japan. I'm very excited. Ooh. Let's see, let me tell uh, you, Ian Miyamoto holding hands. When I was flying out to. Uh, DC, I got the offer to be put on like a, a list that if you didn't fly, you'd get like paid for it. Mm. And so, like, I, I thought you were gonna to be put on a no fly uh, list. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I put myself on there because I was like, I'll get $500 if they choose me not to fly. And I was like, that'll pay for oh, some yeah. vacation trip. And then they didn't oh, choose absolutely. me. Like, out of all the times oh. that I get screwed out of flights and stuff, that's the one and time. And you don't get anything screwed. out of it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, this would have make up for all the times I've had flight troubles. If you give me 500 bucks. Like, yeah. Nope, nope, you're going to D.C. on time today, you little scamp. And I was like, no. <laughs> we did a, on, uh, on the way back from uh, um, a, a trip to Poland with my mom and my brother when I was a kid. Oh. Um they uh, they needed three people to bump, and my mom bumped us, and we got something like five thousand dollars in what travel vouchers. And what? this was like it was like crazy. I think it just like paid for like our next Pitching overseas college. trip, and it was like a day. <laughs> and they like put us up in the hotel and everything. Like it was incredible. Well, five thousand dollars. When I got I'm stuck in that alive. blizzard on the last adventures, nice shoot. I got a cookie and a little tiny bottle of water. What was kind of a cookie? What kind of a cookie are we talking about? Chuck chip. Yeah. Is that what everyone's go to? If you just say cookie, does everyone in their head picture a chocolate chip cookie? Is that like the default cookie? That is the, yes, that is the most popular cookie in the world. That's probably not true. Is it? I don't know. No, I don't you, know. It's a bu- you you did what I do. You, you said something boldly. <laughs> that it was boldly like, is that actually? The person has gone before the chocolate chip cookie. Yeah. <laughs> most popular cookie in. I wouldn't be surprised. But, uh, oh my god. Mo- best selling cookie in the world Oreo. That does not surprise me at all. That surprises me. Well, oh, this is just top 100 cookies. Oh, these are some great looking cookies. Oh, these are like weird. These got, some, these got French names. Shout out to fancy cookies. Better not be a macaroon because uh, there's so many different flavors of macaroon. Macaron. Yeah. Uh oh. Lampy. Another dollar. Wait, we only need to raise 2k to send Marty and Casey to Japan, Nick? That's do- That's not 2k. It's so much more than 2k. I'm already looking at my flights, and I'm like, ooh, those are going to be expensive. <laughs> but the dollar is very strong. So I'm going to go there, and I'm going to live like a king. I'm going to go there, and I'm going to buy Jiro. I'm going to say, Jiro, I am dreaming of your sushi. <laughs> I have it. Jiro and my sushi. I'm going to take Miyamoto out for a nice seafood meal. I'm going to ask Miyazaki-san what's his, what's his deal with swamps. What time? What time period are we in now? Are we still in Dinosaur Land? It's this, dark now. This is the ruined era. Mm, been there. Where, where are you guys all coming from? Are you spawning out of something? Oh, you are. Little spawn hole. There's a little spawn pimple. A little spawn pimple. I want to know who do the voices for like these weird guys because they just make all kinds of weird noise like, hey! <laughs> just who's doing the grunts? Yeah. I would love to get paid for like a, a six hour grunt session. I'm just a hooker. He saw Nick! <laughs> I gave like a nice little look to the camera <laughs> of like, if you know what I'm saying, and then you just said just a hooker. <laughs> God, <laughs> so classless. <laughs> Aren't you glad I'm it. home? <laughs> I was I had I was I was I was streaming with such highfalutin members of society as Frost <laughs> and Darren just an hour and a half ago. Hi. 
like, oh, he silenced my swing, so my my stick was just swinging without the. That sounds like a Zen Cohen. <laughs> What's the sound of one stick swinging? I feel like you don't you don't like ARPGs at all, do you? You don't play these games. Uh, I played Diablo 2 and 3, and I enjoyed them. And I played uh, Titan Wait. Quest. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Titan Quest 2. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and I played... Uh, I liked X-Men Legends, and I liked uh, Marvel's Ultimate Alliance, and I liked uh, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance for the PlayStation 2. Uh, and I think that was about it. Uh, there is... I have nothing against them, and I would play them, but nothing has been uh, nothing has been sparking joy in me uh, yet. I feel like I should I should play Diablo Four, but like, I probably should have played like it at launch. If you got it on Steam Deck, you would love it. Yeah. Some really good games that just play while you're laying in bed for a while. Yeah, I played Diablo Three on Switch. Um, pretty late to the party on that, and I, I enjoyed How did it on that Switch. Run? Uh, pretty fun. I don't know. Again, without a point of comparison, like it ran fine-ish. It probably was running at like 480i, but I don't know. Switch that side. Yeah, the Steam or, or the Lenovo Legion Go can run games at like most modern games at 1080, 60. When the Steam Deck only gets up to 800p. Are we sponsored by them right now? What's going on? No, I wish. <laughs> I should have requested a review unit. <laughs> that was that was like that was like. So I feel like you were like reading off like uh Yeah, you guys gotta you guys gotta drop these facts during the stream. I like this door. I don't have to open it to go through. Magic door. I'm actually God. You know there's like one percent of the audience who's who would go on Steam and be like, Dear Last Epoch, it is immersion breaking when I try to open door but I just walk through. I don't know why that's my voice for like a dipshit commenter, but it is. I don't well, even know what accent. There's been is. a lot of them in the past week or so. <laughs> Never. Not on my internet. Not on my internet. Aaron Sunshine says Diablo 4 is a waste of money. As a Diablo fan, Diablo 4 is a waste of money. Did you play Diablo 4? What, hap what happened? Everybody liked Diablo 4 when it came out. What the fuck happened? I haven't kept up with it. Huh? I finished the campaign. Diablo happened. And that's about all I wanted to do with it. <laughs> Diablo happened. Yeah, I thought, I thought their prevailing opinion was people liked Diablo 4 at launch. I mean, I I think people, some people liked them. I don't think it was, like, beloved, but it was relatively well-regarded, I think. I don't know. It seems like another game that, like, people wanted that to be their only game they played forever, and the live service mm. has not kept up, which I understand, yeah. so. Gotta get those forever games out of there. Have for never games. Games that last you 75 minutes like Abzu. You know, Chad's saying people didn't really like it, it was just optimism. Oh, like this is a great foundation, and then. Yeah, I guess they just haven't. Gotcha. Oh, I can see that. You know what game I'm looking forward to that was re announced this week? Let me, let me guess. I made it really simple by saying it was re announced this week. I don't know what was re what what news was this week. Multiverses. Um, really? Yes. Why are you? I don't, know, I don't know why I'm so incredulous, but why? Just want a new platform fighter. Okay. It's well, not well, Smash, Smash is over there. He's playing Smash. I, I feel like I there was like, like seven would... streams this week. <laughs> I was streaming, and a little notification in the corner popped up. Casey uh, or Sigma Gear. Oh is yeah. Now playing <laughs> Smash. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> when he's when he's out on those shoots, if he's not doing the shoot, he's on Smash, and you can hear he's him smashing. anywhere in the house that he's playing it because he's got like one of those controllers that you attach to the Steam Deck, and uh, I mean the uh, the Nintendo Switch, and he, he pounds on that thing when he's playing in Smash. Switch Pounder. You can hear him not like the, the, the not like the Lenovo, which has silent joysticks. I uh, already forgot what the name of the Lenovo. Lenovo. What is it? Lenovo Edge? The Lenovo Legion Go. Oh. And you know what, Marty? It has detachable controllers like the Switch 2. So. Get the fuck out of here. Go look at really? it. Really? Yes. What is it called? Lenovo Legion? Lenovo Legion Go. Is there a Lenovo Legion not go? Uh, it's when you have to plug it in to play it. 
Oh, it's weird. It's got like a little rounded. Oh, this is weird looking. That looks pretty cool. It's just, it's just big. I, I was I was very torn on between that or the ROG Ally. Because uh, the Little Nobody Legion Go is a monster of a handheld. Yeah, it's and, pretty beefy. Yeah, Starting yeah. at six ninety nine. Yeah, I got the eight. You know how many Dreamcast games you could buy? I got a I got an eight ninety nine version with a uh, updated or upgraded two terabyte SSD inside the machine. What a time to be alive. We'll see if it was worth it. MOS says at least pounding uh, joysticks seems healthier than huffing. <laughs> I don't know. All of you out here who are against huffing the exhaust from your consoles, Our give it. People. Give it. You're listen, welcome. don't knock until you tried it. Until you've until you've huffed that gaming spice, and then you're gonna know. You're gonna you're gonna commune with Shai Halud. You're gonna feel like the fucking emperor of Arrakis. Oh, no. uh, Wrong, Eric Brown with the twenty arses. The... Oh, sorry. Oh. Woohoo. Who? Uh, home now, brown cow. How now, brown cow? Says, uh, feel iffy about giving either company money. Yeah, I'm kind of in that same boat. I've had not great experiences with with Asus, uh, which is the Ally, uh, ROG Ally maker. Mm. Like all their Windows laptops have caused me issues, but I don't know. Uh -oh. I read enough like reports on Reddit from people that actually had the Legion Go that were very happy with it. So. The, 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 main, the main reason like people are like don't get a windows uh, handheld or like if you're not like a computer tinker like like marty uh you probably want to stick with a steam deck but i like i like yeah, how dare you assume i'm not a computer tinker you i literally like lift it up the front of my pc because i don't know what bland, brand i think it might be lenovo i see a logo <laughs> that is uh it's like a circle with a with a Y in it it's like a circle and it looks like a man is doing a praise the sun in the middle is that a lenovo i don't is think that so. what i have what what PC case would have a circle with a Y in the middle of it? Kind of looks like a peace sign, or it kind of looks like praising the sun. I don't know. I think it could be Lenovo. There's there's really you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna Google Lenovo logo. Nope, that's Lenovo login. That did not <laughs> that did not help. Um. Okay, no. Well, this is just Lenovo. It's just the word Lenovo. So I have not gotten to the bottom of this. I got a Yenovo. Get fucked, <laughs> Lampy. What if I did? <laughs> Yenovo! <laughs> off brand yeah, shoot of Lenovo. It's a Yenovo. <laughs> it is like the hot. I don't know what's going on. I've got a fucking Toyota down here. Uh, Eric, thank you so much for the RSS. Uh, stream idea Second Wind vs. KC Smash Bros. Challenge. We've, done, we've played that before, and I'm going to be honest. I took a little bit from him. Like, I, he's better, clearly better than me. But it's not like. Out of the realm of possibilities of me me taking a life or two. Especially, I got Captain Falcon out there. Or two. Falcon punching, Falcon kicking. I feel like, I don't feel like that's a big compliment towards yourself. Because all you have to do is hit him a bunch, and if you take five lives to hit him, they get him once. Yeah. Well, I'm not, I'm saying he's he's clearly better than me. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, it wasn't it wasn't like a supermarket sweep. Right. I was able to handle do a stream series where Marty and I train Super Smash Bros until we're better than KC. And then we'll My thing is I don't get I've I've learned I do not get better at games the more I play them. I have a just a default uh, 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 this is how I am at this game and I do not go up or down. So, That's what I've learned after so much Suica is I've not gotten better or worse at Suica. I'm just the exact same at Suica. Did you not rank up in Marvel Snap at all? You just stayed at the one rank? I just liked it down there. It was nice. It was just hanging out with folks. <laughs> it was hanging out with folks using a cool deck, getting Ghost Rider to do shit. I got I got addicted to Marvel Snap again. Yeah, Snap Fever. I, I don't know why. I, I put it down for like a couple months, and then one day I was sitting on the toilet, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to load up Snap. And then I sat on the toilet for way longer than I wanted to. And you got a hemorrhoid. Probably. Yeah. Uh, Lampy with 100 bits. Thank you, Lampy. You can train an amiibo in Smash with your fighting style, and it'll keep getting better. Then make KC fight that. Yeah, but my fighting style is just Captain Falcon doing Falcon Punch and Falcon Kick, and then Wait. Falcon up cut thing. Is that real? You can train an amiibo to learn your fighting style? Yeah, that was a big thing, where it's like, uh, it sort of matches your AI, and it keeps getting, uh, it can like level up, and so you can almost like fight against mirror versions of yourself or give them to friends and they can fight versions of you. 
That's Nintendo, cool. listen, That's Nintendo cool. when they're not when they're not charging sixty dollars for for uh, 3DS Mario games Kong, like Tropical Freeze. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know hey, why I'm so was... mad about that game. <laughs> yeah, I don't, Tropical I don't Freeze. Even yeah, I want to play it. <laughs> I just want to, I just wanted to want me to play it. Um, I my Yoshi's theory Woolly World, which continues to be at sixty dollars. My theory is that they're getting us used to $60, which is going to become their budget price for HD versions, and that budget. all regular oh, first-party games going forward are going to be 70 in this new generation. You think 60 is a budget price? 40 is a budget training price. Us for. I think that's what they're training us for. I'm just saying. All right, Pavlov. I'm not, I'm not saying. I'm just saying. Pavlov and his dogs. Uh, August. Top five month of the year with a twenty dollar dono. Thank you so much. It's so cool seeing smaller gaming studios release great games. I agree. They do it a lot. It's cool that. Yeah, and I agree that it's it's cool that a lot of yeah. the big stories from this year have been um, have been smaller teams and smaller studios, especially after last year was such a like, holy shit, look at like all these like triple A guns ablazing. Um, it's it's cool to see stuff like Power World and Hell Divers and this. Um, and Bellatro and shit like that really take off this year. Okay, so interesting topic. Did you? Uh, no, you don't. You don't go on Twitter anymore. I, so I, there were two new AAA indie, independent studios announced today. Okay. Uh, uh, one of them is from Stig. Uh, our, I can't say his last name, but he. Big Osmussen. Yeah, and he worked on God of War and, and Jedi Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor. Yeah, yeah he directed uh, God of War three and the Jedi games. Yeah. And a bunch of the re- like a bunch of the former Respawn Jedi team is with him on that studio. Oh, uh, funny! Movie. Funny that Respawn is uh, Respawn was formed as a studio of yeah. a bunch of people leaving another studio because they were kind of getting away from the main ethos. And I'm assuming this is going to be a third person action game. Uh, don't know. They don't don't know yet. They haven't announced like okay. what their game is. But yeah, essentially like. It's kind of seeming like a lot of them are kind of tired of working for EA and being stuck on Apex Legends or whatever they want them to do. But anyway, uh, so I, w- I was thinking, like, outside of, like, ex- like Todd Howard and maybe a couple directors at Sony, like uh, 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 Neil-, Neil Druckmann and stuff like that, yeah, most of the people that like are well-known names at this point are no longer at these publishers and have their own independent studios again. I can't think of very many left because even the how like what the Housers left. Well, one of them did. Well, I think one of the Housers is still there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously, like uh, I would say, um, we still have that with like the Japanese studios with with Nintendo well, yeah. and with, the, the, um, the Western gaming market. Though, like, yeah, but even the Japanese studios, you know, we've seen yeah. folks like Shinji Mikami leave and Kamiya leave, and um, so so you've had plenty of uh, plenty of movement there. But um, Sean Harriman says Amy Henning, she's she's at her own independent studio uh, that's part yeah. of Skydance. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, not one of the major. I mean, she's still at a major publish. <laughs> Skydown is, is it a major gaming publisher, but they're a major TV. I mean, yeah, we'll we'll see like what <laughs> what their gaming output looks <laughs> yeah. like. Um, uh, yeah, just a lot of. I mean, that's why kind of I don't know. Just having a a studio name a lot of times can be like, well, is it the same people who actually made this thing? Yeah. But looking into it, like it is funny because the like Prince of Persia Lost Crown was a lot of folks who had been there since not only the Rayman, uh, you know, Legends and Origins days, but like folks who worked on Beyond Good and Evil. Mm-hmm. So like that studio has has retained talent, which I guess maybe in France there's just not um, as much, uh, not as many opportunities. Like there's yeah. Arcane Lyon and, and, and stuff like that. Whereas if you live in, in Montreal or in LA or something, you can kind of toss a rock to see a new studio but yeah i mean like uh, you know, like all the bioware leadership went off and formed their own stu- studios mm-hmm. most of respawn's leadership has gone off and formed their, their own studios at this point yeah almost all of the call of duty leadership has gone and formed their own studios and again it's funny that the respawn like <laughs> respawn is almost the first like second generation one we're seeing of that we're like yeah respawn was the like modern warfare warfare 2 leadership forming the studio and then that is 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 branching out on its own as well. Yeah. So, yeah. I was just I was just thinking about that today. Like I can't. I really can't think of too many names left that I would know at these studios. And kind of just tells you like how much of like no name monoliths they're becoming, just making the same games or licensed games. And kind of a shame, but also like I'm I'm really excited for like all the independent studios that are going to come out of all this stuff. 
Yeah. But at the same time, I think it's also on those studios to then, like, the, the sort of the legacy studios to prop up their, their younger talent and let, like, folks like, you know, Insomniac as Ted Price uh, took more of a leadership role, like Brian Intahar became at the creative director of Spider-Man 1 and 2. Um, well, that's what kind of became a figurehead like, for that Sony, thing. And, Sony and Microsoft still have those names, though. Sure, yeah, yeah, but you don't see that a lot in, in you know, with your Ubisoft yeah, and your Yeah, e yeah, and Ubisoft, they're like, their budgets balloon so much now they're just licensed game studios mm -hmm. for the most part which is and that's why it's funny like ea what the other week was like yeah we're gonna go back to our original ips and it's like what original ips do you have now yeah like, are you, gonna, are you gonna go back to dead space a series that you canceled because it didn't sell well enough or are you gonna go back to I mean, they said we're going to go back to our original IPs, and then we're also, and then they're like, we're also proud of our Black Panther game and our <laughs> yeah, Iron Man yeah. game. And you're like, yeah, Star Wars Jedi yeah, Three. I don't, know how, okay. uh, I don't know how secure I'd feel there. <laughs> if that's what. You're yeah, doing. I mean, I think that was ultimately uh, uh, a uh, uh, being Mr. pissed Mr. off at. No, I think it was. Um, you know that that came a week or two following the big news that uh, Disney and Epic had that crazy partnership um, going yeah. forward, and that. I imagine Disney was like, oh, the the price of the brick went up, and uh, the, you know Disney's share of using their IP has probably gone up, and yeah. so that might have been them being like, all right, we're we're not gonna fucking do this. Uh, Quinn Tupple with another. I fucking lost your message. With another two dollar donut. Thank you so much, Nick. Favorite gun in Hell Divers Two: the auto cannon for me. Uh, the shotgun that they just nerfed. Oh no! I'm not mad about it. It was definitely overpowered. Everybody was using it. A, you should write a strongly worded letter. <laughs> Dearest know. Arrowhead, don't think so. You took away my shotgun. I don't understand how you get mad about a gun like that being nerfed. <laughs> I just people get mad about everything. I poured one out when they when they nerfed my Horfrost stomp in uh, Elden Ring. The only the only thing I don't want them to nerf is the uh, the 380. Uh, Ooh, look at this thing. Uh, the what's what's the three eighty? The the big giant artillery that comes in the three eighty. Mm. All right, you hear that? Don't don't. If Arrowhead, if you're listening, don't you dare. Jack, they should buff it so it's even more confusing of where it's gonna land because it's funny. Just more buffs. Yes. Just keep buffing. Keep buffing something until it's too strong that it becomes nerfed. That's true, Nick. Are you worried that the Steam Deck brethren are going to get upset at you for for uh, turn coding on their precious Steam the Steam Deck and going over to the Lenovo side? I would be nervous. Who's my Steam Deck brethren? People on Twitter? Or you no, guys? the the Steam Deck, like the Brotherhood, the Brotherhood of Steam Deck owners. Oh. Valve fans are very passionate. Oh, when we played uh, Half Life and we said Half Life One uh, might not have aged super well, they got very upset at us. Someone called me a toad. <laughs> Who is this guy that you brought to life? Look at this large I don't know. power man. He's, his friends are hurting me. He's got so many friends. He's got so many friends. Uh, well, if they get mad at me. I can't say I care. <laughs> you do the. You could do the suck it thing that I the generation X used to do. <laughs> Uh, Lampy with 100 bit Arunis. Thank you, Lampy. Marty, the 380 MM is a team killing weapon. Should be all you need to know about why Nick's like, Nick likes it. <laughs> Nick, are you using that? Are you using that to hurt your folks? It's their fault for not running away when I use it. I feel like that's victim blaming. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, feel, I feel like you can't do that. I feel like you, you monster. You're an absolute monster. Yes. And? Yes, <laughs> yes, Ed. Look, sometimes you gotta bring in collateral damage to get to the democracy. All right, George W. Bush. <laughs> <laughs> ah, roasted. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run in peak quick. I'll be right back. I promise. I'll be back. Yeah. Only wash one hand. I see people commenting me on me using a spinning attack. It's because it's great. It just rips things apart. And I've leveled the crap out of it. I think the only thing I'm not super impressed with this game is the loot. I feel like I skip over most of the loot. 
Or maybe I just don't play enough of these games that, like, that 90% of the loot you don't want to pick up. Uh, does the B... Does the B skill... Yeah, I don't know why I, I keep picking up weapons that let me summon bees to attack things. I don't know where I picked it up. I don't know why. It just keeps happening, and I'm you know what? They, they kind of kick ass, so I'm just going to leave it be. Great battle was lost here. Darkness. The only the only ARPG happened. I'm like really sad it didn't really pan out was uh Wolsum Wars of Mayhem. I think out of all of them it still has the best feeling combat. But it definitely uh the, the beginning of that game is really strong, but everything else it just falls apart really quickly. Did we watch the Oscars in DC? No we didn't, but the I've I've definitely seen the uh John Cena <laughs> naked bit that's going around. That's funny as hell. Hell, I, I don't know what I don't know what. Well, I do know why. Why? But even the little bit I did watch of the Oscars felt so much more genuine than the Game Awards, and that was not a statement I was think I thought was going to be in my head this year. I've returned. So somebody asked if we watched the Oscars, and uh, I said the one statement I didn't think I'd be making this year is that the Oscars felt no more genuine than the Game Awards this year. They, did. I thought the Oscars were great this year. Let me tell you, I thought um, I thought we had some really funny bits. I thought we had some nice heartfelt montages, and I can't complain about any of the any of the winners. Yeah. It was great, but like, yeah, it was just I was kind of shocked at like. I don't know, something about it just felt wholesome compared to what we got from the Game Awards where, like, no ounce of a shit was given towards the creators. I mean, the funny thing is, uh, you know what they share in common? What? Al Pacino. Al Pacino giving out oh, a major shit. award! <laughs> Al Pacino then, gave out the last award. And then he went on Twitter and was like, yeah, they just made me skip through all of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Al Pacino went on Twitter? I don't know if he went on Twitter. The statement I, he, on Twitter. I, 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 I have to believe that man has never been on Twitter. It's probably... Probably not. Uh, Al Pacino's great. Anyone who said a bad word about Al Pacino, go fuck yourselves. He's great. Uh, I did see... Uh, what's her face? Won her first Oscar. Uh, what's her face? Poor Things actors. Uh, I was in her first. It was her second. She won for La La Land. Oh, right, right. La La Land. A rare two-time winner, Emma Stone. Yeah, and then I looked up what poor things was, and then I was like, uh, okay. It's what? great. It's just Frank. <laughs> it's it's horned up Frankenstein. Very... Watch it. Watch it with your parents. No, Sit no. Your parents no. down and be like, we're gonna watch horned horned up Frankenstein. <laughs> it's got so much sex in it. Holy <laughs> smokes! Holy smokes! It's great. Yeah, like look looked it up on Google, and Google's like, you want to turn safe search off for this? Like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. Great movie. And this tone's amazing, let me tell you. Yeah, she's great. I've rewatched re La La Nick. Wait, what? I rewatched La La Land like <laughs> once a year. Oh my god, I love La La Land so much. I hate musical movies, but I love that movie. I love La La Land so much. Put her and Gosling in another movie. They've been in three movies. Give them a fourth. I saw during his performance of I'm Just Ken, he gave the mic to uh, to to three of his co-stars slash director of uh, Barbie, and he also gave the mic to Emma Stone. Those are the only people in the audience he gave the mic to for a second. It's great. Hmm. I think they're buds. I feel like I feel like there's nobody that doesn't like working with Gosling. No, he's wonderful. He seems wonderful. He's great. Top, he's top Ryan. He's my he's my favorite Ryan. Ryan Cartarello is my favorite Ryan. He's my Ryan high school. He, way over Ryan Reynolds. I don't. <laughs> I talked. I talked about this in the last stream. I don't like Deadpool. I think Ryan Reynolds is like whatever. He seems fine. He seems Canadian. He's affable. Um, but I don't he have runs it. Mobile. I don't know. What the other, that seems like a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> I thought. Isn't it like it's the same thing as cricket? Isn't it? <laughs> Also seems like a Ponzi scheme. I don't a know, Ponzi like... scheme. Yeah. <laughs> well, they also seem like schemes where it's like you're gonna get money and uh, and we're just gonna take it and give you bad cell service. Although I give a lot of money to AT and T, and in return they give me bad cell service. So I don't know. They all give you bad <laughs> cell service. Yeah, that's our secret cap. Uh, Lampy with a hundred bit quote. And Nick's heart grew three sizes that day. 
for what? You know what? What did I do? I think for liking La La Land. No, it was a, it was oh. a, that was a compliment. You like the Grinch, the Grink. <laughs> oh God. Everybody's hurting me. Why is everybody trying to hurt me? I didn't do anything. Have you, uh, if you haven't been watching the game already, did you know that I get little bumblebees that attack for me? Like, you got bumblebee pals? Yeah. That's cool. Look at them. They I mean, I can't, I, I am watching the game, but I'm watching, like, in a relatively small thing, and I don't even see any bumblebees. There's, like, three little, there's, like, six little yellow bumblebees just stinging the boss. I literally don't. Oh, I see him now. Yeah, there's, there's much going. Humping his leg. <laughs> Uh, yeah, what if the boss was allergic to bumblebees like Macaulay Culkin in the hit film My Girl? He can go down a little bit faster. You gotta give him his glasses. He can't see without his glasses. Rest in peace, Macaulay Culkin in My Girl. You know what I uh, I got some of the team into over the week we were in DC finally? My Girl. No, I got him to watch the League. Oh, I've never even seen the League. What? That was. Yeah, that was the one. That was the one about uh, fancy football. Right? Yeah, it's on FX. It's so good. I uh, know. I've I've heard I've heard excellent things about it. I, I I just watched Sunny on FX, and every time the league would come on, I'd be like, I'm 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 done. I'm oh. all laughed out for the day. All laughed out for the day. Someone else who knows Buck Bumble. I fucking love Buck Bumble. Chat. Shout out to Buck Bumble. We don't stream enough Buck ah. Bumble on this ah. channel. Shit. We don't see my, uh, stream enough Chameleon Twist, we don't stream enough Glover, and we don't stream enough Buck Bumble. And my goal for 2025 is to change that. Wait, let me level up before you go in there. Rate the Adventures Nive BNB. Uh, it was basically a mansion. Uh, I got lost a lot in it. Not really. Haunted? Do you Not... think it was haunted? Uh, no. Right. It might be now, because I'm not there. You were the only thing keeping the spirits at bay? Correct. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 slept, I slept in the basement because I actually got a bed this time and the bed was nice, or the basement was nice and cold, but uh, it's like an old, older colonial house. You can hear every footstep. And some people are heavier, ghost. more heavy foot, heavy footed, heavy feeted. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you stay when you stay in a place with like ten people, there's bound to be some noise. Oh yeah, some people are just very heavy footed though <laughs> in our in our adventures night group. <laughs> so I feel like you're throwing people under the bus right there. I haven't named names. You know what? We all have our quirks. I breathe loudly because I can't breathe through my nose. I have night terrors and I start screaming in the middle of the evening. Do you really? No, I don't. I breathe loudly. I do breathe loudly. And I <laughs> snore. I don't have night terrors, though. So. I mean, I don't think I have night terrors. Maybe that's why your closet door's broken. I just agree. I don't sleep in this room. That'd be like an incredible night terror to like, go all the no, way. You, this you, is your closet door's broken because you're just running to your closet at night to hide in there and you don't know it. I have several closets in this house. And, and this is the that only one's one. the one you feel safest in. This is the only one that's broke. And this is the only one that... <laughs> I have so many corners in my house that I could have a desk in, and I chose the one with the broke door behind it. <laughs> no. You know, it's nice. There's a window right here. I get some some vitamin D or E or whichever vitamin the sun is. It's great. It's clearly vitamin F. Uh, is, eventually, I'd hit whatever vitamin that is. Somebody's inevitably going to comment on this. Why aren't you guys talking about the game? I don't know how much there is to talk about an ARPG. <laughs> ARPG. ARPG. I think people are fine. I think everyone's been enjoying this. They've been watching. No, no, I meant, I, meant, I meant later, like in the VOD. Somebody's going to be like, they didn't talk about the game at all. Oh, yeah. because, like, I don't really know how, what to tell you about the game. I just like clicking on things and watching them blow up. <laughs> Click and the numbers go up. I don't know what to tell you. Yep. Pretty, I don't, yeah, I don't play ARPGs at min-max. I don't... I just play them because I like the environments, and it's a fun number go up game, I guess. Hell yeah. 
Uh, Lampy with another 100 bits. Uh, he doesn't say that this is towards Casey and I going to Japan, but I'm just going to assume it is. Uh, I'm impressed that you, Nick didn't go for vitamin Ds. That's too easy. Oh, wow. I never Suddenly. go for the easy ones. Suddenly you have... Uh, oh, that is not true. That is deeply untrue. You don't know me at all. That is uh, wildly <laughs> untrue. Uh, well, the sun is vitamin S. It should be vitamin S. That would make things a lot easier. That would explain why Superman has a big old S on his chest. That dude loves sun. No, according to Batman, S stands for stupid, not hope. You and your fucking Batman. <laughs> Red Dwarf. It's better than the Batman movie itself. Then what Batman movie? No, it's not. Which one? <laughs> no, the not. Nolan movies are what, better. What, the Tim Burton what, movies what are better. Movie? No, it's not. The Matt Reeves <laughs> movies are better. <laughs> Don't you dare. How Red Dwarf wants to know if I played the uh, Van Helsing ARPGs. I did not. I wasn't into ARPGs when those came out. Van Helsing was too scary. Was it based on the movie Van Helsing? No. Nope. 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 Oh, never mind. Probably the, the... Is Van Helsing literature? <laughs> Van Helsing is a character in Dracula. <laughs> So there wasn't like a Van Helsing book. Van Helsing was just a vampire hunter in Bram Stoker's I actually don't feel, I don't feel as stupid as I thought I felt asking that question of Van Helsing was literature, because Beowulf's literature. Listen, <laughs> that is not, there's no, the, the, the pursuit of knowledge and wanting to learn more is not something I mock. The fact that you asked that, that, that means you wanted to learn. And so I'm, I'm always happy to teach. Why do I feel Sorry, like there I'm probably is Van Helsing literature? I mean, what is your definition of literature? Because there's like a movie adap there's like a book adaptation of the movie. I'm right. sure. Lit um, literature is when you read something and it makes no sense until you talk about it with your English teacher. Gotcha. That's, <laughs> that's the that's the literature threshold. I kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, Kate Beckinsale was in the movie. It was. She's, yeah, she's, she's my crush growing up. Kate Beckins, she's still my crush. She's, 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 she's extremely good looking yes. still. Yeah. <laughs> uh, shout out to Kate Beckinsale, friend of the show. Uh, Red Dwarf, 100 bits from earlier. Thank you so much. Nick always yelling at the straw man. You do yell at straw man a lot. <laughs> it is very funny. But you're like, someone in the fucking chat keeps bringing it up. Like, There's no one in the chat talking about this. No, I, I didn't say chat. I said comments later. Everyone in the fucking chat <laughs> grinding my gears. <laughs> Uh, what's Kate Pack and Sale been up to anyway? Just being great. I think she's a mom and she's just great. Yeah, she, she's, she's still acting? Being luminous. I don't know. I haven't seen her anything lately. She's wonderful. Um, ba -ba -da -ba. Lampy with 101 bits. A waka waka for my Darkling. I hope that name is a Dokapon reference for my Darkling. Uh, let me scroll back to what my darkling said. I had a doctor for whom English was not her first language. Discussing my vitamin D deficiency, she said that I needed to take the D every morning, and I almost died suppressing my laughter. Mm -hmm. You know what? That's just a great doctor right there. We're ruining comedy for some of you, and I'm, I'm not sorry about it. We would never ruin comedy. Comedy's already been ruined. See, like a, a regular ARPG player would look at what I'm doing right now, just tossing loot on the ground and yell at me because they're like, Why aren't you selling it? Yeah, why aren't you selling it though? Because I, I don't need the money. You got that Lenovo Legion money. Yeah. <laughs> you have that upper crust of society. Let's get rid of all this shit. Let's pick it up later. It won't be me. Uh, someone asked what other games when I pulled up that big pile. I have, I bought, I got these for very cheap. I've been, I've been just, I've been, I've been, uh, thrifting, finding deals. And when I find deals, let me tell you, I get excited. Uh, I got Metal Gear Solid Substance for the Xbox, which is the Metal Gear Solid 2 Special Edition that I've never owned. I got Hurdy Gurdy for the PS2. It's got a monster on it. Looks very scary. I got the game adaptation of the hit, hit television series, The Shield, which looks awful. <laughs> Uh, I got Digimon World 4, because I own Digimon World 1, and you know what? If you get all four Digimon Worlds, I heard that they make you uh, a real digital monster. And then I got Stretch Panic, the infamous treasure game uh, where you do a lot of stretching. I'm a big fan of stretching. Stretch, just 
Stretch Panic. Stretch Panic. Uh, uh, come Stretch Panic, a dark comic fantasy that takes you for a trip on an entirely new gaming experience. Join Linda as she journeys through Limbo and the Museum of Agony to save her 12 possessed sisters from the clutches of the Demons of Vanity. Armed with only a possessed scarf, it's up to you to rescue your siblings. Yeah, you do a bunch of, like, stretching and pulling. I bet fucking, I bet Tyreel knows about this game. You, uh, you gonna play any of those or you just get them for a collection? I'm gonna play some. I know I'm not gonna play any of them yet because these are all PS2 games, and until I get a way to play my PS2 games. Um, oh, you don't own a PS2? I own a PS2, but I don't own like if I just I don't even think any of my TVs have the little RGB like hookup. So I need to get that retro tink, which will convert it into HD, which will allow me to play it. Oh. So I can currently play Dreamcast and PS3 games. Chat's, Chat's saying I'm very know. quiet again. How? I think they just meant you were quiet because you just weren't talking when I was fucking babbling. You babble. You do babble a lot. I do. I was. I was just babbling there. I was like filibustering. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't think it has. I, Nick been quiet. I, don't I, think I, I, raise, I raise my audio. So if I'm too loud now, you let me know. Oh my god, he's fucking screaming now. Uh, ba 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 ba. Lampy with a hundred bits. I think that was um, the one. Yeah, he really wants to uh, go to Japan. Do you? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna we'll be honest. The last few have not said anything about Japan, so I think those <laughs> just go into the stand, <laughs> the normal pile. Uh, do you have any games with a pull quote from yourself on them, Marty? I literally think. Do they? They don't really they didn't do pull quotes with like specific offer and answer that long they just ended up putting the publication but I, I guess if your pull quote is uh just at attributed ign i guess that still counts yeah uh on the on the uh this you're gonna like this because it's a steel case on the steel case of final fantasy 15 king's glaive the movie on the very back Exciting action scenes, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Aaron Paul, Sean Bean, and Lena Headey deliver incredible emotional performances. Oh. Marty Sleva. I thought, I, I, I thought the only part of the quote was you was exciting action scenes, dot, dot, No, dot. I did it. I had my name. So there you go. Look, my, I did it. Yeah, we, had a, we had a lot of uh, quotes attributed to us back at the Escape Just also, K KC, uh, had, I, KC had a bunch in particular. I feel like they're all on, uh, I also have on the back of Broken Age. I have a quote. Broken Age is a gorgeous, impeccably written adventure that simultaneously tugs at my nostalgic core while ushering a new era for the point-and-click genre. Marty Sleeve. There you go. That was a, that was a game I tried to get into and it just, it didn't hook me. It was great. I was a big, I was, I was a, I was a large fan of it. Uh, Jacob Kitty as a Final Fantasy 15 Defender. Why would you buy that? I was sent both of those. I did not buy any of them. I have not bought. I was literally about to say I have not bought media in years. And then you just bought. Minutes after showing all of the shit I've just <laughs> bought. I have not bought new media in years. Because I have a head injury. Do you, uh, you've been watching Shogun? Mm, I have. Well, I've watched up to... Four. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I missed the last episode because it was yeah. out of town. Excited to go watch that tonight. And Halo. I don't even know what day. What day of the week is? What is she show gonna? The Tuesday show. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I've not seen today. Oh, so I think I'm caught up. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, Shogun's been great. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think there's only three episodes out till today. The fourth is out. Unless they released uh, two last week. Uh, has there only been three? Maybe I've only seen three of them. Because they released uh, two, two on the premiere, and then one. Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll only seen three. I think Shogun is, uh, I think it's excellent. I'm a big fan of it. And it's only gonna get one season. I mean, it's just based on a single story. I know. Nice. They can't, they can't. Just one. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine with it being one season. Don't draw it out. Yeah. And Game of Thrones it. I just oh, hope, no. uh, FX takes more big risks on stuff like this, because, man, they're... <laughs> do a good job with those historical epics sometimes. Whoa! What are all these things? I, re I heard... When you said, whoa, I heard it in a Crash Bandicoot I, voice. I, I, it's exactly what I was thinking after I said it. Ow! Oh. Eric, what is this thing you just shared? And It's like, what is this fucking... Evangelion 
I've been. I, I was talking about the last stream. I started rewatching Evangelion because I have tickets to see the end of Evangelion in theaters on Sunday, and so I wanted to burn through the series proper mm-hmm. beforehand. Rewatch the series proper beforehand. Oh my god, I'm gonna buy all of these, aren't I, Eric? God damn it! Why did you send me this? <laughs> Fuck! I'm gonna put a link. I don't. I don't even know what this is, but I'm gonna buy them all. What these is look it? like little Christmas ornaments, like Evangelion Dreaming Pot set of five pieces, like little. Uh, where am I supposed to put these? I'm gonna find mine anyways. I think they're great. You know what's great? Evangelion. I like big robots and I like existential crises. When you combine the two of them, Wumu Wamu. Uh, you said Halo though. Halo's been Halo's still been going well. They're still they're still doing it. They're still not fucking up. Yeah, I like the I like the last episode. I, it, it's kind of like got the opposite problem now, where like it's bringing so much stuff from the books that if you haven't read the books, you're still gonna probably be like, why isn't this Halo? Gotcha, gotcha. And then if you have read the books, you're like, oh, I like where this is going. There's all kinds of really interesting things they're doing now. Mm-hmm. So I don't blame anybody that's like. A fan of the games that just wanted the games retold and doesn't like what yeah. they're doing, but if you are into the, lar- the larger Halo lore, they're they're doing a good job with that. Oh, the yeah. season's actually like well written. Like I can sit there and like I'm actually invested in the characters and the story, which I can't say about the first season. <laughs> Man, it'd be great if uh, I, I'm I'm always a fan taking a leap from season one to season two. If uh, like it'd be great if uh, if I can Lord of the Rings did that. Or, or whatever rings of power, whatever it's called. Yeah, It'd be wonderful. I, I feel like I feel like they're gonna have to for people to give that series another go. Yeah, I mean, I, I, was, I, I wanna, think... I do like want to rewatch it and see if I enjoy it more as just a binge and not a week to week because I th- like that was something we said the I entire bet time. We were I bet it will be better. It. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think a binge helps weaker shows better than. Uh, Stronger shows because I think a, a binge very easily um, sort of puts band aids on the on the problems. Yeah, well, and like the show, like just as we kind of said the entire time, just dragged out its reveals way too long. Mm-hmm. So if you just get to it quicker. <laughs> uh, agreed. The Fallout show trailer looked really good too. I did. I'm a little weirded out by the fact that it's all dropping at once. I feel like that is yeah, a I, lack I, of confidence. Yeah, I tweeted about that too, and people were like, eh, "They're just doing it to do it." I'm like, "Yeah, but all their like, none of their other shows have been weekly." Between, yeah, uh, even Amazon's even power. That. Yeah, like Amazon. The one thing I do like from Amazon is uh, when like they've done it for the boys, where they drop three episodes and then they go weekly, kind of like Shogun. Yeah, where it's like we'll give you like a bigger bite to to get hooked and then uh, go to weekly. So I don't know. I, 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 the main reason I think they would be doing it is just like the Fallout brand name outside of games is probably not big, and it's probably harder to sell people on it. Yeah, I mean, I, th- I feel like the trailers sell sell pretty sell like what this thing is pretty well. Maybe, but there's also so much stuff now. I don't know if a trailer. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe it'll be great. Um, yeah, because I didn't, I didn't think Reacher was going to be a huge hit, and it's been huge. I saw someone say, and I feel like I've thought this before, but I saw someone say that that dude should play B. J. Uh, B. J. Blaskovich in a oh, uh, in a Wolfenstein movie. And I'm like, oh my god! Oh yeah, he'd get be a man out there. Get him just ripping and tearing those Nazis apart, and that'd be great. I I, uh, I had uh, never really seen him in anything other than Blue Mountain State. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, which isn't even which the verdict's still out is it, if it's even real. They're bringing it back. You can bring fake things back. It's happened. Uh, Red Dwarf, 100 bits. Uh, the Hunt the Truth podcast slash advertisement is one of the best things Halo has ever done. I remember that. That was exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's like uh, somebody, yeah, so somebody in the chat said, do I need to watch season one of Halo then? No, you, you can watch like a summary and you'll be fine. <laughs> I would not recommend season one of Halo, but season two is a good time. I, my, only, yeah. my only complaint really about season two is like, they handled Reach very differently than like the games and even the books. Mm, gotcha. I'm, I'm not really on board with some of those changes, but yeah, uh, you know. Uh, but then I, I kind of go back to thinking like some of the criticisms I've had of the uh, past adaptations were like, I've already played the game, so I don't really, and I've already read the books, I've already played the game, I don't really want to experience the same story three different ways. 
Sure, sure. So I'm um, like, you know, like as long as it's good, then I'm fine. Mhm. Mm I hear you. Yeah, that's like, what's the one thing I, I can never get behind like on people's like criticisms of adaptations is like, I don't why if I wanted the same story, I'd just go back and play the games. Yeah. But then, but then I also get like as a big fan of Halo, I'm like. This isn't right. This is weird. This is what are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, do as I say, not as I do. Yeah, yeah I hear you there. So it's like, I, yeah, sometimes you just don't really know how to feel about it. Mm -hmm. But unlike season one, I wasn't looking forward to watching that week to week. Season two, I have been. So that's good. It's about, <clears throat> it's about, it's about the best thing you could ask for. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Marty, have you watched any Gundam? I've watched some Gundam. I've watched Mobile Suit Gundam. I've watched uh, the AFMS team, Gundam Wing, and Endless Waltz. And then I watched the first season of, or the first half season of uh, Witch for Mercury. I have not watched the latest core or whatever it is of Witch for Mercury. I like Gundam. Big Robos. Big thumbs up for me. Uh, someone in chat setting. I don't know if they're saying set up loot filters in this game or not. The one, the one thing I really do like about uh, this game over Diablo is like I feel like Diablo is very restrictive when it comes to your build class, and this game is oh like whatever you have chosen, that's what you're gonna be. Yeah, and like even like class. even like with some of the warrior classes, like you can't use like a dagger or uh, some of the like the heavier weapons or whatever. And in this game, mm. like, there's a lot more build diversity, I feel. That's cool. I may be wrong. I may be wrong, because, like, like I said, I'm not super deep into, like, the, the mechanics of this game. Sure. But overall, Country like, I feel like I have left. a lot more control over my character than I did in Diablo. Like, because, like, in Diablo, like, I was constantly spending money to, like, you know, reset my skills and stuff. And I don't feel like I have Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Jaws uh, 2308. Thank you so much for joining Prime. 105 of 500. Is that just like an arbitrary goal? An arbitrary sub goal? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't set those. Maybe it's just like a default. What happens when we get to 500? I don't know. I feel like we're probably not going to get to 500. Maybe we, maybe, <laughs> we, probably maybe we can be partner status? Uh, when we get to 500... Um, no, we should be able to hit partner status. I don't know how many people are watching. Cause like I'm close to hitting partner status, and I don't, uh, I'm I'm not as I'm not as big as second win. Uh, I actually don't think we are. I think you need to you need to boost up those numbers. We'll just stop stop streaming on YouTube. Just tank our own revenue. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> don't think so. I don't think that's how that's gonna work. There's really no way to know. Oh my god, Eric! I, I really want these. Oh, I'm gonna buy so many of these. God damn it, Eric! Stop sending me things. <laughs> Uh, uh, someone asked what uh, one of the next big games what do we got coming up Dragon's Dogma 2 uh, Dragon's Dogma I, first I was March 20th What's that? Alone in the Dark Alone in the Dark oh, yeah I was not hyped at all really for Dragon's Dogma 2 because I, I just couldn't I, I've tried Dark Arisen like six different times just couldn't get into it, and then I've, mm -hmm. I've read the previews for Dragon's Dogma 2 and actually like started looking into the game, and now I'm incredibly excited for it. <laughs> yeah, the, the 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 previews were 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 crazy positive. Yeah, well, I always liked the combat of Dark Rhythm, but the world was so fucking boring. And it sounds like the yeah. preview and all the previews I read are like, yeah, they fixed that. Like the world, yeah. like you want to explore every nook and cranny of this world. I'm like, yep, all right, I'm in. You son of a bitch, I'm in. <laughs> You son of a bitch. Um, so yeah, looking at the calendar, we got Alone in the Dark on March 20th, um, Dragon's Dogma on the 22nd, Princess Peach on the 22nd, and Rise of the Ronin on the 22nd. I'm very excited for Rise of the Ronin. Previews were uh, previews were good on that one, too. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited. That's just one I'm going to have to just buy and play, and I'll probably really love it, because, like, Sure. Team Ninja is really hit or miss for me. <laughs> yeah. But I really loved Well Long, and the combat system in this sounds a lot like Sekiro, so I'm 
I'm there quite an interested in that. Um, yeah, I, just, I don't really care for the Ninja Garden games, and I don't really care for. I didn't. I, you I were didn't, the world's number one Neo fan. I was. I was okay with Neo. I wasn't. I wouldn't call myself a fan. World's number one Neo. You heard it here first. Um, what do we have after that? We got uh, South Park Snow Day on March twenty sixth. Uh, Open Roads and Pepper Grinder on the twenty eighth. I'm excited for both of those. The aforementioned Children of the Sun and Yellow Taxi Go Vroom, April 9th. Europa, April 16th. Ayudin Chronicles 100 Heroes on April 23rd. Fucking stoked That's for that one. Coming out. Finally coming out. Same day as Tales of Kinzara Zao. Excited for those. Sandland, RIP Akira Toriyama coming on on April 26th. The Demon Slayer board game game. Oh my god, we better finish this fucking Dokapon. People have asked, yes, we're going to get back to Dokapon. Once everyone gets back, we're going to find We're going to find it. We're going to find some Doka. We're going we're gonna to get back in the Doka saddle. Stellar Blade, April 26th. I'm excited for that. Um, which, that had that, that they the like reviews. accidentally released a demo and then they like pulled the demo back. So I feel like a demo might be coming out soon. Question mark? Hmm. Uh, Infernity, thanks for gifting a sub over to Knob Yogurt. Incredible. And Terrace Kasi, anyone from Second Wind going to review the new Moomin game? Probably not. Snufkin, game? Melody of the Moomin Valley. Oh. Moomin's just like, I think he's French. I'm actually not sure what he is. He's just like a little cartoon dude. Didn't, um, uh, didn't it just Hoops write something about Snufkin back on the Escapist? I don't remember remembering? ever. I don't know. I don't remember somebody, ever anyone somebody ever streamed about Snufkin. It. Someone streamed Snufkin? Are you sure? I don't remember. Snufkin Melody of the Moomin Valley? Wait, did a Snufkin game come out like a, just a couple years ago? Listen, we're in the middle of the snufkin sense. I don't know. I don't know anything about the, uh, the, snuff, <laughs> the Snufkin stuff. Who European for Marty? <laughs> <laughs> Frost started telling people that I'm just anti-Europe uh, during during I, the stream with it. Darren. What? I love Europe! I keep saying pizza and pierogies are the two things I love. <laughs> um, Europe's great. Listen, Europe's great. So my, I'm literally, my most anticipated game right now is uh, mm. Orlai and the Laser Eyes coming I'm, out of coming out of Samogo. I know what you're European thinking of. I'm thinking of Smushy. You're thinking of Smushy? Go home! Yeah, Amy and Frost streamed that. No, Amy and me streamed that. Amy and Frost? You remember what you I don't know if I watched the stream or if I was a part of the stream, but I had Smushy fever. Moment's finished, by the way. Gotcha. I've been moomin splined. Oof. Hurricane Brass Scepter of Sleet. What? <laughs> That's great. Put on Harriman. Aren't you more excited for Starstruck Vagabond, Marty? Yes. That was my no That's my number one. Clearly. Hey, we're showcasing it at the mix next week, and Yahtzee's not nervous at all. Oh my <laughs> lord. Just kidding, he's very nervous. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh the shit. Public. I forgot to upgrade my Void Knight. The public. Are you guys going to go to Day of the Devs? Uh, yes, on Sunday. The Devs. Yeah, it's on Sunday, so like, I'm literally going to get in, get to the hotel, and then turn around and go out to Day of the Devs with j and Matt. The big three? Yeah, because Omar won't be in yet. Moomin is anime, by the way, Marty. That can't be true. It's animated. I don't think it's anime. They were saying it's finished. Can finished things be anime? Who knows? Sound off in the comments below. <laughs> uh, I, I, I used to uh, Starstruck Vega, but makes me wonder, worry if that people shit on, want to shit on the game just to get back on Yas for shit-talking games they like to develop. Oh, I'm sure they will, but it doesn't matter. People will play it, and people will enjoy it. Yeah, I don't think like people at the people at the mix aren't gonna do that. I don't think people hold grudges like that. No, 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 not at the mix. Absolutely not. They're they love when Yahtzee talks about their games, even if he doesn't like it. Yeah. Uh, but I, I'm still planning on reaching out to John Romero to see if he'll do a fully emblematic on the game. That'd be great. So those of you playing Last Epoch, what do you think? Do you like it more than Path of Exile or Diablo? Is it kind of hitting that middle ground for you? It seems like the people who um, 
a couple people throughout the stream talked about playing it, and everyone seems to be very positive on it. I've, I've not heard negative things about it. Everyone seems to have enjoyed it. Yeah, the only... Like, I, it, it doesn't take much for me to enjoy an ARPG, because I'm not, you know, I'm not super deep into them like a lot of people are. Sure. Um, as long as the combat feels good and, like, the world's interesting and, the care and the, like, the enemy variety is really good, then I'm, I'm kind of in. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. And I will say, this game, like, has no shortage of enemy variety. Yeah, there's also a lot of critters you've been fighting. John Romero will make Yahtzee his bitch. That's really clever. <laughs> that was the famous Daikaton advertising, where the, the advertising was just a one-page spread in a magazine, and it just said, John Romero's going to make you his bitch. <laughs> and then the game came out, and it was very bad. <laughs> it's, it's still funny to me. Like One of my very first interactions with Yahtzee is putting him in front of John Romero on John camera. Yeah. So that it, <laughs> John Romero will stare at him menacingly. I can't disappoint a picture. <laughs> it's an it's a interview clip. <laughs> yeah. And that's when the escapist community knew I was pretty cool. <laughs> uh, when are you going to let the second wing community know that you're cool? Uh, yeah, they'll come around. I thought that was like a roast, and then you like gave it that answer. I was like, oh, no, the roast got sad. <laughs> <laughs> I regret the roast. <laughs> Is this, I'm assuming this is multiplayer, like you can you can play your friends as well? Yes. Do any of your gaming pals play this, or are they all shooty boys? None of my gaming pals play this, no. no we've been playing, we just, we've been playing Helldivers. Damn. Yeah, but my, my, my group of friends tends to get, like, play one game and gets very stuck on that one game for a long time. Yeah, yeah, that Phasma period. They hate me because I'm like, hey, this game came out this week. Let's try this. And they're like, no. You're like, no, we, we you're bought... normal and don't yeah. want to buy a new yep. game every fucking week. Yep, we just bought this game. We're playing this for a while. I'm like, I, but I'm already bored. <laughs> 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 That's the bad part about being in games media is like, eh, yeah. I've got like 10 other thousand games to choose from. I love it. If I, be, if I get bored, like, I, I just, you know, move on to the next thing. Yeah, exactly. Blessing and a curse. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. No, unless the game like we once you played as many games as we have or games in media, it takes a lot of. Like, uh, it just takes a, a minute for a game to hook me a lot of times because like I've seen this a million times now. Sure. Uh, she has Guru with a five euro dono. Uh, going back to that. Uh, the John Romero thing, yeah, just like Mighty Number no. Nine made you cry like an anime fan on prom night. That was like Deep Silver's marketing. <laughs> that Mighty Number no. Nine is gonna make you cry like an anime fan on prom night. <laughs> Jesus, what is going on? What are we as a society doing? Not a whole lot of good. No, not good at all. <laughs> PJ Dillon says that uh, since I got really into the escapism and now second win, I think my Steam library went up about 200 games. Yeah. 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 Well, that's, a, that's like the one thing I love about our our team is like we play so many different things on stream. So like, oh yeah, you never go a day without getting like recommended something to try. Yeah. Um, that could also be bad. That could just be there's too much stuff. TMG, too many games. No, if we have to go through it, then the community has to go through it with us. We all see together. together. Yeah. Stand down or die. Yeah, my character says stand down or die, and then they get stung by bees and die. So, well, no choice there. One or the other. Either standing down or dying, and they chose dying. Uh, yeah, next next week for uh, the editor's backlog, I'm going to play a game that I feel like nobody in our community has played, but I'm happy to be proven wrong. It's called the uh, Songs of Conquest. Songs of Conquest. Why does the name sound familiar? Did we have this on a on a escape on a indie expo or indie thing? Mm. Any showcase? I don't. No, I don't think I ever did it in a showcase. That's uh, inspired by Heroes of Might and Magic. 
that's cool also not next week because next week you're gonna be in oh yeah i'm gym. gone next week whenever i'm back Liar. classic lie but you know, classic some, some, lie the, the pixel art songs of conquest conquest looks amazing those are uh, five thousand reviews on steam but it's still in early access mm, gotcha who are you? Uh oh. He's oh. tall, man. Oh. That's true. John Lee says you can stream it from your Lenovo Legion in your hotel room. I legit could. That 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 thing is powerful enough off the stream from. You're gonna need to huff, you're gonna need to huff that exhaust and tell us what's like. That's the only no, review I make care me, about. It'll make me stronger. Yeah, it'll give you tantrums. It's like steroids start, for start gamers. Start tearing the paintings off the wall of your hotel room. <laughs> Emperor's remains. Why do you no. have remains? Why does he have remains? Well, because he passed away and they didn't move him anymore. PJ wants to know you guys ever think you'll start a series reviewing handhelds? Uh, if companies want to send us handhelds for review, sure. Well, I don't know about a series, but we can review them on Firelink, no problem. I will try them all. Also, send me your retro tanks. Retro tank, if you're out there, <laughs> send me your retro tanks so I can play so I can play all these old games. Again. One thing I do I do want us to get into and uh, uh, is the board game and trading card market because like mm -hmm. streaming the Adventures Night card game was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, and if, I feel like every week there's a big new board game Kickstarter or a new trading card Kickstarter. It looks really cool. Yeah, that's like a whole, that's a whole industry. I don't even know, like, I'm, I'm, I have such a small knowledge base in. Yeah, so like, one of the uh, ideas we were talking about back on the Escape is that we could actually do now, because we can get funding for it, is uh, we, have a, we have a bunch of people on the East Coast between Omar and Jesse and uh, Casey. Both, both Jesse's and Jesse. Jess Hoops, I think, is on the East Coast, too. Mm -hmm. Um you know they can get together every couple months to basically test out a bunch of different board games like the dark dark souls board game or the gears of war one or mm -hmm. divinity original sins getting a board game like try out all these board games do a video series kind of checking those things out yeah, I think yeah really that's neat. Good. something could you imagine what about this me and casey in japan uh, play, uh playing a board game uh, yeah. You, sounds great. I don't know. It sounds cheap. Sounds, sounds great. Sounds extremely cheap, though. Seems great. Oh, yeah. We didn't actually factor in who's going to film this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Better learn how to use a camera. Uh, pass. pass. I don't want to go to Japan for work. I want to go to Japan. For, I got to go. I got to go. I got to live my own life. I got to go there, and I got to just, I got to Bill Murray in Lost in Translation my way through that place. It's going to be great. Temo S so seeking you guys and interact real life is fun. Yep, it is. Very expensive though. We will never own a studio. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Building a studio in my backyard is not going well. I do not know how to build things. In your backyard? Yeah, in uh, my backyard is on a hill, so it's just not it's not structurally sound. Oh, well, I have to uh replace both of my sliding doors or door walls as the correct term is. Uh, because the handles on both of them snapped off and completely broke. <laughs> Sliding doors just make so much more sense than door walls. Nope. Uh, why wow, you you close things too 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 hard? I I don't. It, the doors were already crappy. And they just I'm too powerful. I, I have too many Steam Deck beams. <laughs> That's the, you smoke too tough. You swipe too different. <laughs> That's your problem. Smoke too tough, swipe too different. Uh, Snake in the garden. A two a hero. Don't know. Thank you so much, Snake. Second win reviews Nintendo World Japan. Oh, God. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm absolutely going to go to Nintendo World. I'm going to meet Kirby and I'm going to shake his fucking hand. I want to shake your hand. I'm literally waiting for you to say you're going to meet Kirby and get sucked off. <laughs> you meet. God! <laughs> I mean, we'll see. 
We'll have a nice we'll see what the wind blows that day. day. We'll see what happens. <laughs> well, I don't even know what ability he would get. If he if he inhaled me and tried to take my ability, he would just get fucking asthma. He would get asthma. <laughs> he'd have he to just be tired. He'd have to huff even harder. <laughs> yeah. I'm mostly excited what the uh, what the the super switch is gonna huff like. Uh, I've I have been to the Kirby Cafe face, Nick. I've never been to the Pokemon Cafe. I've been to the Pokemon uh, uh, flagship store in Tokyo. It was delightful. Those cafes are neat little gimmicks. The food always sucks, <laughs> um, but I don't think the point is for good food. It's for cute food. Give me more health potions, game. Thank you. Ow! 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 Bitch! I got stuck on the boss. Humbly, like a P the Super Switch is gonna huff like a PS4 Pro if reports are to be believed. Mm. Uh that's good. <laughs> Speakeasy's like, why, why is, why is Nick back? Send him back to DC. <laughs> yeah, just get him out of here. Good. Yeah, yeah. What is he here? R ruin ruin fucking... everything. <laughs> sliding doors have handles. A lot of sliding doors have handles. That's not weird. Wait, why would a sliding door not have? How would you open it? There's some sliding doors that have those like little indent things that like I guess yeah, are ostensibly handles, but <laughs> I don't think those are called handles. The indents, like those in, are in like handle. In handle, still a handle. I don't think I feel like you need to wrap your hand around it to become uh, a handle. Like, like that's like a finger. That's like a finger doll. It's a finger doll. A finger canyon. Mm -hmm. Can I go here? Waypoint locked, level 51. What? There's so many areas. Look at all these areas. Look how big this map is. Look too hard. And there's fucking time periods. I know. And, they, and the world map, it's really cool. The world art changes when they do that. It's great. What time to be alive? Oh, they just sent a nice picture through for Avengers. Now. Just now? It's wearing their shirts. Yeah. I'm not going to spoil it for people. I mean, it's just a photograph of them <laughs> wearing shirts, <laughs> but it's very nice. The house looks like the Fresh Prince house. It's so fancy. I need a, I need a weapon with more damage. Yeah, that's a good point, George. Have you thought about getting rid of your door walls and, and instead installing saloon swinging doors? I have, actually. You can I go want, through your cowboy phase. I want the... Uh... Howdy, y'all. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. Arthur. <laughs> I want uh, French doors. Oh, you can't break those unless you like drunkenly run oui, through oui, them. Oui, oui, oui. Um, yes, yeah, so that's that's, cool. that's what pe people say when they open a French door. Oui, oui. As someone who survived the catacombs, I know what's going on down there. <laughs> These are our bones. Do they have nice French doors leading to the catacombs? Oh, they fucking, they had the longest goddamn spiral staircase. <laughs> At a certain point, I was like, this is just where I am the rest of my life, is I'm spiral staircasing. That was, uh, was great. That, that was me when my parents forced me into Mammoth Caves as a kid, tried to kill me. Oh, hell yeah. Big Mammoth Cave fan. Yeah, but when you're too short for the railings and there's, like, jagged rocks on the edge, it's not very safe. That, that place isn't kid-friendly, Marty. No, I mean, I feel like caves, caves devour children, so... Yeah. And my parents wonder why I turned out the way I did. Yeah, we all wonder that. It's yeah. because of Mammoth Cave? Yes. Because of Mammoth Cave? Hmm. What are you doing? You, I feel like I've heard you burp a thousand times in the last ten seconds. What are we doing? Is this, the blue, is this the blue milk? I didn't burp a thousand times. I had to burp once. I feel like I keep here. I keep here. This is your drink of the blue milk. I have green milk. That's bad. What I leave? <laughs> uh, the acid reflux is bothering me because I ran out of well, my some prescription. Pumps. This is a different prescription? Yeah, I have two. You should, you should I got, get some Pepto. I, it doesn't, that doesn't work. I need this thing called Omeprazole. Because I, I got long-term stuff from COVID, acid reflux. I never had acid oh, reflux. Oh, no. Yeah. You might just also be getting old. I, that could be, too. You need to drink more milk. Drink more water and milk. I drink a lot of water. That's what we need. Every time you stream, get a big glass of milk. And your goal is to get to the bottom of that 2% by the end of the stream. Yikes. Yeah. Sounds like, that sounds like just pain at the end. 
Why? Big glass of milk? Oh my god, milk's great. I would gladly. I'm going to start whole, doing that. Every one of my streams a big 2%. Whole, Just fucking. Are we talking a gallon? Are we talking a quart? Oh, a glass. Oh, you said a whole thing of 2%. Nobody says that for a glass. No, it's just the whole thing. I didn't describe what the thing is. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Just buy a cow and you can mainline that shit. Think about it. Good investment. We, we, we had that discussion while we were out on the Adventures in Ice Shoot. We're like, who's the first person to like, just think it's a good idea to just start milking a cow? <laughs> I know who the first president was who had a cow. It was fucking Taft. That's who it was. Oh, you missed that, Nick. We become big Taft heads here oh, no. at Second Wind. What's he even known Taft for, is an incredible. aside from milking Dude. a cow? <laughs> Let me tell you. Uh, is that well, it? He was, uh, he was extremely overweight and he got stuck in a bathtub once. <laughs> uh, he but he, uh, my, uh, the favorite thing, he went to a baseball game. I'm sorry, Chad, I've told this story several times. Uh, he went to a baseball game. And about two thirds through, he's like, you know, you gotta stretch a little bit because you gotta, you know, you can't be sitting down for that long. Even we have to stretch during streams. I've noticed you haven't stretched during this stream, which isn't healthy, but we have like one minute left. Uh, Taft got up, did a little bit of a stretch. Everyone else in the stadium was like, oh my God, the president is standing up. We should stretch too. He created the seventh inning stretch. Just because he got up and stretched? It's because he did it, and since he's such a pioneer. Uh, everyone modeled it after him, and boom, seventh inning stretch. That's where that's where it was created. Don't look it up because I'm <laughs> not sure amazing. if it's true or not. But hashtag Taft facts. Holy crap! Uh, Rip Shadow. Yes, I'm still going on about Taft. I've never stopped going on about Taft. <laughs> uh, Fungus Finder with a two dollar dono. Thank you so much, Fungus Finder. Milk is modified sweat. White, creamy, a sweat. I'm not. Tasty very, sweat. I'm never drinking milk again. again. I think it's tasty sweat. Just because Fungus Finder's and I'm never drinking milk again. Of a broken world. Marty is milk washing, being from the dairy. I'm in the pocket of big dairy. Hey, in the pocket hey, of big, big cow. I kept my, uh, I kept my uh, thing of, of the very last second of a stream beating a boss. Oh, that's incredible! Every Look, time. we did it every time. I think there's been it. like one time just because I wasn't at a boss. Praise be to Taft. But every Always time, I down this, every stream, I beat a boss like at the very last minute. I don't know how it works out that way. It must be fate. I'm must gonna, be fake. I'm just going to assume it's that. It's a Taft miracle. It's another Taft miracle. Um, thank, thank you, everyone, for joining us today during Last Epoch. What do we, what do we got going? What else is no more streams today? No more I'm streams not doing today. a stream. I'm not doing a stream today. We're done. Everyone, uh, fucking go to bed. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, uh, uh, Fuller and Momentic on Pacific Drive. Ooh, uh, pack drive. And then at noon, you guys are streaming something. Uh, at noon, Frost and Jemate are uh, a little sponsored stream for a game called Lullaby of Life, which looks delightful. Yeah, let me say another, another indie game. Another indie game. And indie then uh, tomorrow evening, uh, Nick, myself, and special guest Frost uh, will be back for uh, Firelink. Uh, I don't know what we're going to talk about, but I'm sure it'll be great. It'll just we we we've, we've ran a lot of our material here as a dry run, and we'll we'll modify it and really workshop it by tomorrow night. <laughs> Uh, and then Thursday, I think we got shoot the shit, uh, and uh, there'll probably be another stream or two Thursday, or Friday. We'll we'll figure out. We'll see if anything's coming up, or if we got any HPDs or anything. Um, yeah, all the good stuff. New design delve on Friday, and new good blood on Thursday as well. Ooh, so that good good. More, lots of premium video every day this week coming in, and then uh, yeah, next week's gonna be a bit of a weird week again because uh, half of us will be out for GDC, but you'll get. Uh, the diary, the, your favorite diaries like you got back at the Escapist, this time with Gmate, Yahtzee, and I all checking out games. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you'll also get some cool behind-the-scenes stuff, because Yahtzee and I are showcasing uh, Star Trek Vagabond in person at The Mix. It'll also be in the online showcase for The Mix uh, next week, so make sure to check that out. You'll, a bunch of people are going to see that trailer for the first time. No new trailer for The, for the Mix. We haven't had time to make a new trailer, but... Uh, be That's really great. cool to see that game in a, a real showcase. Uh, yeah, and, uh, and uh, uh, yeah, and then you know the the DC crew will be back. So Casey and Jesse will be back. So you'll get the Hidden Gem crew back next week. Uh, Casey and I will start up. Uh, Devil May Cry Four. I think that's what we're on next week. Yes. So, yeah. Yep. It'll be good. Oh my God, those are great. Tap uh, facts. Keep Rip your uh, keep your schedules open for April because we'll be doing our big charity event stream that month. I mean, you can't keep the entire month open. 
It's got to keep the entire month open. We don't That's know insane. Yet. We don't know when it what is yet, so you have, to plan your, you have to plan your life around us. That's the only I fair way like- to do it. I feel like that's obscene. <laughs> I feel like that's obscene. Uh, yeah, thank you all so much. Everyone on YouTube, everyone on Twitch, thank you all for joining. We appreciate it. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. Hashtag Taff for life. <laughs>